construction program brings both vision and precision. From that very first hammer strike to the final touch of paint, our dedication remains unwavering. It's not just about remodeling, it's about legacy. In Minot and Bismarck, SurfPro is your partner in transformation. We don't just build back, we elevate every space. Great news! If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up! Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... PSP Network. It's game day. That sinking feeling you get when this happens? That's oil change anxiety. The anxiety of being without a car with a billion things to do. The fear of being overcharged. The stress of not knowing where to go or who to trust. But you never get those feelings at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where you can watch us work right from your car, and we finish up in about 15 minutes. We changed your oil and did our 18-point safety check. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. When it's time to choose your team, you want to pick the best. I pick Carson Wentz. I think Hunter Lipke. Where'd you come from? I was in football just like you. Always choose people you know and trust for your team. Like your community bankers at First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. 
You have built an amazing life by working hard and doing your job well. Delivering financial advice is what we do well. At Ameriprise Financial, our job is to use our skills, experience, and research to help you become more successful in today's economy. What we want you to walk away from each encounter with is satisfaction in knowing that together, we've done what we can to help you work toward a better future. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... PSP Network. It's game day. Well, it's a rivalry that barely, hardly even needs an introduction. From Carl Gard Gymnasium tonight in the center of the capital city of Bismarck, it's a crosstown rivalry game that just goes by the Demons and the Patriots. Hi again, basketball fans, alongside the coach, Joe Cattell, Todd Darmer is welcoming you to our PSP Network broadcast booth as we get set for the Century Patriots invading Carl Gard Gymnasium to take on the Bismarck Demons. The girls game up first, Century 15 and five, Bismarck 14 and six. We'll get to the standings in just a second. This game has all kinds of implications, but Joe, as you think about this Demon-Patriot rivalry, it is, it's one of the best in the West region, if not one of the best in the state. The, uh, the Demons and the Patriots will scrap them up and play hard every time these two teams play. Yeah, it's not a lot of history, these two teams, from uh, coaches in the past and coaches switching from one school to the other and, and players playing travel ball together growing up and then being on different high school teams. And uh, bo both girls and guys, there's a lot of respect and a lot of, a lot of tradition and a lot of, you know, rivalry, just like that Duke North Carolina. They're not very far away from each other, but it sure does get hot when they play each other. Well, and there's one team, folks, that has, let's just say dominated. That's the number. This girls rivalry game as the number has climbed to <laughs> 24 straight. 24 straight games the Century Girls have defeated the Bismarck Demons. That's not a number that Demon fans want to hear about. The last win was 
almost 10 years ago, Joe. Yeah. I mean, so that starts to wear on you. So if you think about that, the oldest a girl probably on Bismarck High's roster is probably 18 years old. That's probably the oldest we're going to have out there. That means she was eight years old the last time that she saw the Demons beat the Century Patriots. And, and so the, these girls just don't even know what that feels like. They don't know. They've never witnessed it. They don't know what it feels like. So for, you know, two teams tied for second right now um, and have everything on the line for the WDA seedings, um, this, this sure, sure does mean a lot, and, and not only for Bismarck to, to break the curse, so to speak, but also just to, 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 to put themselves in that, pretty much clinch that second seed. Nine years, 11 months, 12 oh, days. Did I steal your sheet? 3,636 days. No, I just needed to read it off of yours because oh. I misplaced mine. <laughs> it's time now to those standings. As we mentioned, the log jam in the girls' WDA standings, and here they are right on your live stream screen tonight. Minot, the Medjets are unblemished in conference play and a fine 20-2 and two overall record. They got a date with Legacy tonight, so that'll be an interesting matchup in the Magic City. And then Bismarck and Century tied up along with Legacy in that number two slot. I know one thing, Joe. I'm no bracketology expert, but you don't want to be a four and you don't want to be a five be, to no. be in the number one side of the bracket with Minot. You want to be a two or a three seed. So this thing has playoff implications dripping all over it. 100%. You want to play day three in the W day for a state title against the best team. You don't want to play them in the second round. That's right. And and, and, and there's a, we all been to enough WDAs to know that it usually doesn't always go chalk. But it does sometimes, especially on the girls' side. And and you win tonight, you guarantee second place, unless Legacy figures out a way or whatever the case might be there. But um, even if Legacy figures out a way and you figure out a way tonight, that's two and three. Yep. And so you are no, if you win tonight, you've controlled your own destiny and you stayed out of my side of the bracket. If you lose, you're leaving it up to coin flips and point differentials and all those other types of things. Uh, to see Minot in that second round. So uh, it, it's really one of those things that you hold your own destiny in your cards, and as a coach, uh, there's nothing better than that. And so you uh, should see a lot of energy out of these girls tonight. They should be prepared. Of course, the boys' game comes up after this contest. First up, it's the girls, and the other games will be tracking for you tonight on our BNC National Bank scoreboard. Got a doubleheader. Matter of fact, a tripleheader for you tonight on the PSB Network. Right here, you got Century at Carl Guard to take on the Demons. Legacy at Minot. That's a PSP doubleheader as well from the Magic City. Mandan is at St. Mary's tonight and Jamestown at Dickinson. We'll be updating you on scores for those throughout our broadcast tonight. And there is the PSP schedule. Man, you want some uh, postseason action? We got class Division B Region 4 girls going up at the Minot Auditorium. That's semifinal night tonight of that. You got doubleheader basketball here at Carl Guard and at the Magic City campus. Thursday night, you got a region for third place and championship. You got a class B district starting on Friday, and then you've got the qualifier, the <laughs> A division and the B division qualifier for, from the, the Minot Auditorium. So, yeah, that's a jam packed week of postseason basketball here on the PSP network. Wild, and it's all downhill from here after that. It's, it's WDA and boys regional and state tournaments and uh, what a wild month it is for all of us at PSP, and uh, happy and excited to be a part of it. Dang right. Best time of the year, bar none. I'll see my wife in a couple weeks. <laughs> we'll introduce ourselves again. Yeah. Hopefully the locks aren't changed. <laughs> to the better halves. <laughs> all right, we'll be back with more of our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. 15-minute oil changes. Stay in your car for a drive through oil change. Locations in Minot and Bismarck. You can find us online at VIOC.com. We'll look at the most recent... Division AA basketball poll, and we'll give you our keys to the game when we come back. Should be a doozy tonight. Century 15 and 5, Bismarck 14 and 6, tied for second in the conference. More of our pregame after this break on the PSP Network. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster and know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all, except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. 
Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot, and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit jobberswarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Storage. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. Wondering whether you need wealth management? Wealth management is a multifaceted offering that should provide opportunities for growth and security. At BNC National Bank, we pride ourselves on putting your priorities first and providing practical, objective financial advice. Our team can help you assess your goals and take stock of your assets to determine whether wealth management is right for you. Speak to a member of our team today to learn more. Back at Carl Guard Gymnasium, it's our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. 15-minute oil changes. Minot and Bismarck, their locations. Find them online at VIOC.com. Stay in your car for a drive through oil change. Todd Darmish, Joe Cattell getting set for the Demons and the Patriots. Another rivalry game. These two teams played back on January 19th at Century, and the Patriots held Bismarck high to 38 points. Zoe Austin and Eden Fridley combined for 40, so that'll be something that Coach Shetler and the Bismarck Demons look to right tonight as, Joel, let's take a quick glance at the most recent Class A girls basketball poll. Minot, Red River, Davies, Legacy, Horace, and then receiving votes is the Century Patriots. Bismarck High just knocking on the edge as they've been hot. Uh, the Demons have been playing well here later in the season. And so we're going to jump right into our Northern Plains Heating and Air Keys of the Game. 25 years experience as your heating and air experts. And uh, Northern Plains Heating and Air brings you our keys to the game tonight. First off for the Century Patriots, Joe. Hey, since Ashlyn Buckholtz's injury, Century's seemingly having a hard time finding. So, man, some easy baskets tonight will go a long way. Easy baskets for sure. And, and um, I think, the, you know, I, I just did some quick math. They've lost four or five. And I, me and Scotty had that call in the man end game. And, and they were able to kind of play off some emotion and play off some energy and, and figure out when. Usually that happens, right? Somebody, something bad happens. Usually you can get through it for a game or two. But some truths are coming out now. The four or last five they've lost. And they've only averaging 57 points a game. So finding easy baskets, finding transition getting a steal, getting a long offensive or defensive rebound and then turn it into transition. Get down the floor and score. And then you need, you need a couple offensive rebounds every once in a while. You need uh, one of your post players to figure one out. You need a guard to go in there and, and figure out a way to get an offensive rebound put back. Get to the free throw line every once in a while. Yeah. Just got to find different ways to score easy. People are going to really hone in on, on Austin and, and Eden Fridley in the half court. And so you got to find ways to score while pushing the basketball, while getting offensive rebounds. And... Uh, we kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but your Northern Plains heating and air key to the game for the Bismarck Demons is, Ooh. is it time? Is it time? Is it time? And and I think we talked about this before, like, is Bismarck High the favorite tonight? Yeah. How do you say that when you haven't won in 10 years? <laughs> and how do you say that when you lost 58 to 38 the last time you played? But Bismarck High has won four in a row. They've averaged 76 points a game in those four games that they've played. And so, in, and obviously, Century's gone the other way. So is it time? Is it time for them to be the favorite? Is it time for them to be at home? Is it time for them to score more than 40 points against the Century Patriots, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, but they're going to have to find ways to score. Century's not, and they're going to find ways to get up and down the floor, too, because Century is so good in the half court. I mean, you get them in the half court, and you're dead. I mean, Century Patriots can really guard people in the half court. So I think it's going to be really important for, for the Demons to get off to a good start and, and light that scoreboard up a little bit and, and show that you put some prowess on in the last four games and, um, and really, you know, put your stamp on the WDA here going into the tournament. Last time Bismarck High defeated Century was on March 8th, 2014, in the WDA Championship. 
Kylie Langang, Kiefer, Engelhart were the names that were playing for the Bismarck Demons. <laughs> and that is a long time ago. And you're seeing the seniors introduced on the court right now. It's uh, senior night for the Bismarck Demons. That is the crew that they haven't tasted a W against the Century Patriots. And this is the crew that's going to have to lead them tonight. You talk about the killer bees for the Legacy Sabres uh, hockey team and Marcus Butts and Drew Beasley. Paige Brewer and Jersey Berg got to lead the charge tonight for gotta Bismarck. Get you got to get it done. You're the, you're the leading scorers on the team. You played varsity a ton of years now. You got a yep. ton of experience. Uh, you've got a ton of wins under your belt, but you don't have this one. And there's no guarantee you'll play him again. There's no guarantee you'll play him in the WDA. There's no guarantee you'll play him in state. There is one guarantee you won't play him in this gym again. <laughs> That's and right. So you might as well go out on top and figure out a way to get him. But um, <laughs> again, it's, it's easier to write it down on paper. It's harder to get it done in the in the 38, 36 minutes of a of a game. I know Coach Shetler is looking for one of those to put on the on the uh, <laughs> whiteboard in the in the Demon office. Uh, he'd love to get a W tonight. It makes the offseason a lot easier yeah. at coaches convention when you, you got one. You got that right. <laughs> you got that right. There's your Northern Plains heating and air keys to the game. 25 years experience as your heating and air expert. No other choice to seal your heating and air game than Northern Plains heating and air. Find them online at northern-plains.com. Take a short time out. Senior night drug out the pregame a little bit here, but we'll have more of our Valvoli and Snoil Change pregame after this time out on the PSP Network. It's Tundra Month at Cedric Field Toyota. With more than 30 new Tundras to choose from, starting under $50,000, there's a Tundra to fit every lifestyle. Built in Texas and sold right here in Bismarck, North Dakota, the Tundra is more than just a truck. It's an experience. Step inside to discover comfort and cutting-edge technology with the very best safety features. From the rugged SR5 to the luxurious capstone, there is a Tundra for every adventure. Just off I-94 is exit 161 in Bismarck. Cedric Field Toyota. Let's go places. Great news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do. And we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. The foundation of the financial planning approach at Legacy Financial Partners is a personal relationship. Our unique and collaborative approach to financial planning starts with your dreams, not just the numbers. We will work with you regularly to take action to update your plan as your needs evolve, recommending products and services that are right for your situation. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. High right, zoom, spider two, wide banana. You don't like that one, okay. High right, 40 power. No. You don't want that one either? No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. We've changed our name, but we haven't changed the DNA of who we are. We still offer the best product at the best price with the same people. For over 25 years, we've been your only choice for tires in the local area, providing all major brands under one roof at a fair price for your family's budget. Plus that excellent service after the sale with free rotations, free alignment check, free flat repairs with our exclusive Plus Plan. That tradition continues today. Looking for tires you can trust? Choose us, Trusted Tire and Auto. Uh, so good to have Aaron Wald and Anthony Vetter running the cameras for us tonight on the PSP Network. Our crew is amazing, folks. You get a, you get a chance to tune in the PSP Network for the upcoming postseason tournaments. You see multiple cameras. You see audio. You see replays. You got it locked and loaded here on the PSP Network. Speaking of the postseason, we just had the WDA hockey tournament. How about the tournament by the Dickinson Midgets? First ever West Region Hockey Tournament victory for the Dickinson Midgets. Congratulations to Cass Dvorak and that team. And then you've got 
Class B, I say Class B, but it's supposed to be Division B now officially. Is Region <laughs> 4 basketball going on up in Minot? You got that uh, state qualifier. A division and B division uh, qualifier at the Minot Auditorium this Saturday. And then we've got the doozy for you. I'll call it the diesel. The WDA basketball tournament starts next Thursday, February 19th, March 1st, March 2nd. All 22 games. Folks, we don't come in and just do the opening round, the semifinals, the third place, and the finals. All 22 games on the PSP Network. We couldn't be happier to do it. We're here to promote local athletes. We hope you join us for that broadcast on the PSP Network. And, Joe, I'm going to bring up these standings again real quick because we talked about Bismarck, Century, and Legacy. We're going to figure some stuff out tonight because Legacy's, Legacy's up in Minot. And, of course, the two and the other two teams that are tied for second are playing tonight. So tonight's going to loom large uh, as it gets to seeding time. We talked to Jim Petrick about this the other night um, uh, over in Mandan. And, yeah, it's a little too early to start talking about the bracketology. But, man, you want to be in the best position possible. You Just sure? makes that path to the state tournament that much easier. You sure do. And, and not to say anything below Mandan is anything easier, but you also really don't want to play Mandan. I've yeah. seen them play enough that I don't want to play them in any first round either. Um, this is a big deal. Tonight, by the, end of our, by the end of this girls' game, we'll know who's second, we'll know who's third, we'll know who's fourth. And, and I don't know what the tiebreakers are. I haven't dug into too deep there. But we will know because someone will win this game and take second place or be tied with Legacy for second place. And, and so um, if, if Legacy pulls off the upset with mine. And so we'll know a lot tonight, and everyone will have a week to prepare for that for that big ball game next week. But... A lot of fun, man. It's this time of year when, when you got your senior night, your home game means as much as it does for these ladies. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. It's our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Timely services that won't slow you down. Visit their service center. Nobody's time is wasted. Technicians performing a full service oil change in about 15 minutes. Locations in Minot and Bismarck. Find them online at VIOC.com. Coach Bill Shetler in his 10th year. Running the uh, bench for the Bismarck Demons. Nate Wellstead in his third year. I looked at Coach Wellstead earlier, and he looks like he's lost four out of the last five. <laughs> he, he, look, he looked drained to me. He looked tired. Uh, and, yeah. and there's a lot of sickness going around, too. So I didn't stop and talk to him. So it was Unfortunately, just, uh, as a coach that's lost four out of five, it's not a lot of fun, man. <laughs> I'm gonna, I've won four out of five, and I've lost four out of five, and I know which one I would pick again. So... Yeah. Uh, it's not, and he doesn't know, I mean, let's be realistic, last two years haven't been a lot of losing going on in that Century Pro program. So, yeah, he's, he's trying to search for something because there's no, next, after next week, there's no tomorrow's guaranteed. Yeah, you talk about winning streaks. Century had a 50-game winning streak not that long ago. They had a 42-game winning streak that was broken in 2019. And so it is a team, it is a program that is accustomed to winning. It's a team that's a program accustomed to winning state championships. Yeah, and even go back to that 10-year run, that's two different head coaches that 10-year yeah. runs on. So um, I, it, it, means, it means a lot tonight. It definitely means a lot. Now the Demons and the Patriots, Century 15 and 5 overall. They've lost four out of five. Bismarck 14 and 6. They've won three straight. Check that four straight coming in. And uh, this one is going to be exciting tonight. I'm telling you right now that uh, we're going to take a, uh, I'm going to keep it right here. We like to honor America with the singing and the playing and the production of our national anthem. So uh, we'll get our camera crew organized for that. And it looks like we've got a uh, little bit of a choir group tonight. Look at Morgan Johnson Colbert. She not only is the chairman of the boards for the Bismarck Demon <laughs> Girls, she also sings in the choir. So kudos to her. Uh, getting set with for some of the uh, final particulars here is uh, one last thing. We're going to show you the rest of that postseason promo. Following the WDA Girls and Boys Basketball Tournament, we got Region 3 and Region 4 Division B boys, and then the A and B qualifier up at Four Bears. So a lot of postseason coming up. Action alive on the PSP Network. Here's your national anthem tonight.
Yeah, I love that. Whoa. That was a festive version Whoa. of our national anthem. like to honor America, salute the great flag of our country. I like to do that every time we get a chance on the PSP Network. Bismarck High, 15 and 5. Check that, Bismarck, 14 and 6. Century, 15 and 5. Those two teams locked up in second place. And here's the starting lineups. First off, for Century. They'll have a, gonna be an All-Stater, Eden Fridley. In the backcourt, she's 5'9 and a senior. Joined by Zoe Austin. Those two young ladies average about, just about 30 points a game. Zoe's a junior. One forward is Abby Foslin. And the other forward is a freshman starting tonight. Uh, she's had four starts under her belt, uh, filling in for the injured Ashlyn Buckholtz. That's Olivia Klimple. And in the middle is the senior six-footer. That's Erica Lee for the Century Patriots. Two seniors, a junior, a sophomore, and a freshman in that starting five for head coach Nate Wellstead in his third year. It's time to meet and greet. <laughs> That's the way they used to announce the D -D 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 Detroit Pistons. <laughs> <laughs> and then they would bring up a B -B 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 Ben Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite PA guys around, so he gets it done, man. He knows the history of PA announcing. So here's your starting lineups first off for the Demons and their head coach, Bill Shetler. Paige Brewer, Brewer is a starting guard. And they're going to start the seniors tonight. So you got Cambry Fisher joining Brewer in the backcourt. Brewer, by the way, is the leading scorer for the Demons at 15.4 a game. The chairwoman of the boards, Morgan Johnson Colbert, 5'7", senior, is one forward. Jersey Berg, the 5'11", senior, is the other forward in that starting five. And Rhea Rood, the 5'10", senior in the middle, does a lot of nice things for Coach Shetler and the Demons. Bismarck High will start five seniors tonight, and that puts a wrap on our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Nobody's time's wasted. 15-minute oil change. Stay in your car for a drive through oil change with locations in Minot and Bismarck. You can find them online at VIOC.com. Right, Century has made their way out in the courts. Their road navies outlined in red. White numerals and the Bismarck Demons getting their final instructions from head coach Bill Shetler tonight. And they'll be in the home whites. The Demon Maroon outlines and we're set for basketball. The Zebras are ready. Should be a good contest tonight. Good to have you tuned in to the PSP Network. Nice crowd has filed in. I love how they dim the lights here. It's like a prize fight, right? <laughs> You're in the Demons gym. It is a prize fight for sure. <laughs> Century controls the opening tap, and Bismarck High comes out man-a-man. -man. Eden Fridley will try a little dribble drive in the baseline. Oh, scoop to the hoop. Nice little clear out there on the baseline for Eden Fridley to get to her right hand. Yeah, Fridley's got our first deuce of the night, and Century will extend some pressure. They'll also be playing lady to lady. A lot of man-to-man -man out of both these clubs tonight. Screen and roll for Paige Brewer. She'll stop and pop around that screen. Missed everything. Good hustle by Rude, but she was tiptoeing the end line, and that will be Century Basketball. Yeah, good start for the Patriots. Getting good defense there on their ball screen defense, like usual. Yeah. Well, if there's one team that's had another team's number, yeah. it has been Century having Bismarck High's number. And this is... This is where a little lack of depth for the Patriots might come into play with all that pressing if they can get into stoppage of plays and press situations. Austin's shot is jousted by Rhea Rood. Sentry gets it back. Still 10 to shoot for the Patriots. Top of the key, Austin will launch in and out. Rebound, Klimple. She dug it out of there for a second chance for Sentry. Crossover by Zoe Austin. Oh, nice drop down pass. Erica Lee finishes. Offensive rebound. Find a way to get a layup. Good job there from the Patriots. 4-0. Century leads on your BNC Bank scoreboard. 16-41 to play first half. Todd Darmery's go Joe Cattell. As we get settled in for a double header here between the Demons and the Patriots. And just like that, Bismarck High with an unforced turnover. Little nerves right away from Bismarck High. Air ball, jump shot, and a turnover. Not, not, a, not the ideal start. Not the way you brought him out of the locker room, Coach? Not, not the way you drew it up to start the game. <laughs> And now Century gives it right back as Foslin has a little double dribble called on her. 
All right, fans, tonight's game brought to you in part by Monot State University. Monot State University, be seen, be heard, be you at MSU. Johnson Colbert triggers it in. Jersey Berg's got that nice mid-range game. Instead, she drops it down. Rude powering a shot up. Rebound tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Zoe Austin. It will remain demon possession. Is it just uh, Century just got Bismarck High's number? I mean, they just have a hard time <laughs> scoring against them. Well, that's it. I mean, that's <clears throat> we talked about the, cent the, the Bismarck High kind of mental hurdle to go to, but Century also has this mental hurdle where they just walk on the floor and think that they can beat them. They just, the confidence level has to be through the roof for the Patriots. Well, one of the X's and O's things as Bismarck High turns it over is Eden Fridley guards Paige Brewer. Yeah. And that's a, that's a height advantage for Century, and Eden Fridley's one of the best defenders in the league. And so when she gets to try to lock down one of your best defenders, or best offensive players, as Zoe Austin is getting loose for two, uh, that's, that's hard to contend with. Nice play there, too. Eden Fridley sets the screen. You don't help off Eden, and all of a sudden Zoe gets all the way down the lane. So really good kind of adjustment there from Coach Wellstead, understanding how they're planning on guarding Eden. Century up 6-0. BNC Bank scoreboard as there's a three. Ring it up for Paige Brewer. A little bit of separations from Eden on that down screen, the pin screen, and uh, Paige didn't need much room to knock that shot down. One of the killer bees we needed tonight. And if Bismarck High could get this full court pressure locked into full gear, that would help. Foslin wants to attack, slams on the brakes, throws it up, banks it home. Yeah, they've scored four times on four half-court possessions. I think there's one turnover in there, so four out of five times now Century's been able to score. Four different gals in the scoring column, too. That's a good sign for Coach Wellstead and the Patriots. Poke checked away from Cambry Fisher, and now you get a takeaway. And, and here comes Zoe Austin. Stop, fly by, score! Timeout. And a Ryan Family dealership timeout on the court. See if we can get you a Ryan Family dealership replay early. There's that takeaway for Century, and boy, you get Zoe Austin in the open floor. Slam on the brakes, let the defense go by. That will get it done for Century. An early start for the Patriots. 10-3 they lead on your BNC Bank scoreboard. 14-57 to play first half. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. In times of loss, Surf Pro brings hope. With expertise in Minot and Bismarck, we don't just restore homes, we rebuild lives. Ryan Family Dealership brought to you that replay and timeouts. No appointment needed at Ryan Family Dealership. Specialized training and technology. Nobody knows your vehicle better than the certified techs at Ryan Family Dealerships. Find them online at driveryan.com. Couple subs in there for Bismarck High. It was Caitlin Luther finding Rude. Count it and a foul. Yeah, good play there from Bismarck, figuring out a way to get a layup. I was going to say, coming out of that, going into that timeout, Century found a way to get five layups. Yep. Um, and, and and obviously, it's a little bit of the it makes scoring a lot easier when you get all the way to the rim like that. Rude converts the old-fashioned three-point play from the Serve Pro charity stripe. Just like that, it's two-possession game. 10-6, Patriots on top. 1444 to play first half on your BNC National Bank scoreboard. Addison Massey's on. She's hounding Fridley. Nice takeaway. Luther, a couple nice plays. Scoring definitely helps Bismarck High, not only because you get points on the board, but also you're able to set up that press. Two, two turnovers now out of it. Berg backs her way in. Massey on the kick out. Now she just takes a deep three that's short. Fridley flies in for the rebound and Century's back, leading by four. Austin to the left hand. Klimple wants it from downtown. Nope, short. Boy, Massey's quick. She had a hand on a rebound, but then she lost it out of bounds. She's got the quickest feet in the West region. Yeah, Addison she's, Massey. She's a heck of a soccer player from yeah. what I hear. And, uh, all, her, all her, I think she must get those quick feet from her dad. Is that what? Yeah, yeah. There, yeah look right, at that. Look right, at that. Right over there. Right down the broadcast <laughs> row from us here. He can't hear us. Otherwise, he'd be laughing. He'll probably get a text <laughs> message right now. <laughs> Almost a takeaway, now it is. Steal. 
Massey in the passing lane. Brewer, a little rocker step. Turns, good defense by Austin. Berg pulls up, might have been tipped by Klimple. Cleared out of there by Erica Lee and Century. Gets Eden Fridley into the front court. That's one gal you don't want to bring the ball up against either. I wouldn't bring it up against Massey. Austin, step back, fade away, knocking it down. Nice play from Zoe Austin. The other thing that people don't always realize about pressure is not only are you trying to get a turnover, but you're trying to kill some shot clock, too. Yep. Uh, Century gets the ball across with only about 18, 17 seconds to go. A team that doesn't hasn't scored well in the half-court offense, having less time isn't uh, necessarily a good thing. Well, and Eden Fridley's exceptionally conditioned, but it wears you out, too. Wears you out, oh, and, and she passes the way once. She might not even see the ball again in that possession just because of the shortage of time. Brewer. Missed a shot, then she tracked down an offensive rebound after missing a downtown three. Oh, now you got a developing high school hideout. Klimple leaves it down low for Addie Weigel, who just checked on. Didn't take the shot. Good patience there for the century as Century's doubled up Bismarck 12 6 here. Fridley from way downtown. She shot that one from the Missouri River line. Must have saw Sabrina in the three point contest on Saturday <laughs> for that, that, that range. Rebound foul on Zoe Austin. That'll be her first, team second. Hey, BNC Bank brings you our scoreboard tonight. Your life's busy. They make managing money, money easy. Locations in North Dakota and Arizona. Visit BNC Bank online at bnc.bank. Hey, fans, nice game. Also brought to you part by Planet Pizza. Try the blue buffalo, the plain cheese. Oh, there's a take. Massey right down Broadway. Addison Massey gets her first two of the night. Yeah, try that blue buffalo or the plain cheese. Your mouth and belly will thank you. Been serving the Magic City for over 25 years at Planet Pizza. Coast to coast, Austin with the left-handed flip. Rebound tip right back to her. Century, Foslin sets the offense. Massey on her like a postage stamp. Austin squares up. A lot of standing right now for Sentry. Jabs a couple times. Now gets a screen and roll with Addie Weigel. And she will press the issue, but instead, she shuffled the puppies. Yeah, just a lot of standing there. Sentry pretty much had four girls stationary with one girl dribbling. That whole possession. Someone's, if you don't have the ball, you got to move a little bit with it. Strange screen. Cut, create, create some movement so the defense can't, isn't stationary as well. And I think if you're the Demons right now, uh, Coach Cattell, I mean, you're down 6 nothing to start. Great timeout coming out of that timeout. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you've uh, now cut it to four, and uh, you're you're right where you want to be. Yeah, for sure. And you've, you've taken away the layup, so you've gotten into your half-court defense. No easy buckets. Make it hard on the Patriots. Get a cross screen for Luther, and she gets hit. Good offensive set there for Bismarck High, and you're going to get the junior, Caitlin Luther, at the Serve Pro Charity Stripe. Yeah, nice little set there, little cross screen. Uh, Luther was getting chased, and the defender was just far behind, and no help side defense to, to help out. Luther will launch the first one with the right hand, and she knocks it down. Serve Pro's got trained technicians, advanced technology, 24 by 7 emergency service. Second one looks good, nothing but nylon. That's the one nice thing about uh, Bismarck boys and girls, it doesn't take long to figure out how many players they have on their bench that play, do you? <laughs> they get them in and out real fast. Yes, indeed. <laughs> We've always said, like, Jordan Pintar for the Demons, he's got to be the <laughs> most underpaid assistant coach in the league trying to keep track of those I, playing I'm going to get a copy of his sub sheet if you'll give me an old one for the <laughs> WDA so we can get a, yeah. a B-roll of that sub sheet. Yeah, that would be fun. That'll be my goal here in the next week, to get a B-roll sub sheet for the B-roll. Fridley cut off, gets it off to Foslin. Check that, that was Klimple. Austin behind the screen, almost banked home a three. Luther has provided good minutes here for Caitlin Luther. She tapped a rebound to Johnson Colbert. Massey. Colbert wants the tie. She's got it. Great take. Great composure right now from Bismarck High getting themselves back in this basketball game. And it's the others. No, no points from Berg yet. Only the one three from Brewer. Everybody else has really stepped up their scoring. Well, now you're getting the Bismarck Demons Ooh, shooting layups. That's a great call. And you get a little carrying the basketball violation right near the Demon insignia. When you press and play as many gear girls as Bismarck High does, the bucket is so helpful because you can set up that press and really put pressure on them. You can sub three new girls in. If you're missing and just kind of playing in motion, you're just kind of doing exactly what the Patriots want is pace. Scoring and being able to play defense is exactly what Bismarck High wants. 
Bismarck 12, Century 12. Demons looking for their first lead. On and back on is Cambry Fisher. Stopping and popping is Jersey Berg. Nicest, nicest jumper in the 58504, man. She's she can absolutely stroke it. Yeah, she's got as good a mid-range game uh. as you will find. Now the Demons got this pressure launched. And they force Fridley into a turnover as she stepped on the sideline. I'm starting to feel that pressure of not having an extra ball handler on the floor right now for the Patriots. 14-12, the Demons have come all the way back. They lead by a deuce. Does Bismarck High with approaching 10 minutes to play first half. Fisher with a quick first step, leans in, missed it. Fridley had a hand on a rebound. Now it's going to be jockeyed and tied up. She needs some help in there. Eden's the only, she, she was the one person rebounding. All other four were kind of out being uh, spectators a little bit. They got to, the other four are going to have to step up here and help bend the ball down the floor and help secure the ball. And you get a Ryan family dealership timeout on the court. You're going to get a quick look at this. Uh, how about this little quick dribble drive here? Actually, this is the Berg shaken and bacon. Oh, was it? I don't, I don't even know what replay <laughs> what this was. Got? Yeah, it is. Here it comes. Here comes the pull-up. Oh, yeah, here it yeah, is. There we go. Jersey Berg with that little mid-range right there. Little Knocking it down. Little yep. Michael Jordan shimmy there. <laughs> it's a Ryan family dealership timeout on the court. Trusted name for car buyers in western North Dakota. Shop their entire inventory at driveryan.com. Visit one of their five locations in Minot and Williston. And while we have a second, we can tell you the night's game also brought to you in part by Roger Ward Moving and Storage. Been doing it since 1942. You can find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com. Night's game also brought to you in part by Prestwich Orthodontics. Specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. You can find them online at minotbraces.com. Stay tuned at halftime. Get your uh, BNC Bank scoreboard update. Got a big game going on oh. up at Minot. As Lee had it point blank range, didn't shoot it. And the alternating arrow will favor the Bismarck Demons on the tied up basketball. She's got to go up with that one. She's right underneath the hoop. The worst thing that can happen is probably get fouled and go to the free throw line. She's got to be strong there, find an angle, and get that ball in the glass. And Bismarck High, nice little run here. They lead by a deuce. Fisher on the right wing. Skips it to Johnson Colbert. Fisher on the cut. Wants to attack Fridley. Short. Good contest there by Eden Fridley. Austin in transition off the stop for the Patriots. She's cut off there by Massey. Now to Foslin as Bismarck High gets in the stance and locks it down until Foslin drives into a left-hander and she pinballs off of Rude and Abby Foslin will be going to the stripe. I always get a, catch out, a, a kick out of uh, Coach Shetler. I, I want to know, when you were on the sidelines, were you in the <laughs> defensive stance as much as Coach Shetler was? Let's just say when I was younger, I got a lot lower than when I got older. <laughs> Started having kids and started eating road food too much. I wasn't able to get down as far. But, um, no, yeah, no, he's 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 energetic on that sideline and and definitely still can get in that stance a little better than I could. But hey, love to see what happened just there. They moved the, some girls were moving without the basketball, completely freed up the baseline, and, and no one was paying attention to help side. And Foz was able to go straight down the straight down the pipe on the sideline and get that ISO left-handed layup. Foslin knocks down both from the serve pro charity stripe, and we're tied up at two touchdowns oh. apiece. Oh, and Bismarck High just in tennis, that's an unforced error. Yeah, and coach, coach as animated as was on defense, as animated there a little bit. Yeah. Hands to the head. You just, I mean, you're trying like heck to figure out a way to win a game, and you just can't be throwing the ball out of bounds like that. How about the contrast in the coaches tonight? Because Nate Wellstead's about as cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I mean, he, he he doesn't hardly show any emotion at all. No, he's uh, he's definitely the calming force, uh, calming force around the WDA. Shetler will wear it on his sleeve as Zoe Austin has one spin out in in and out Heartbreak Hotel. Rebound to Ray Arude and the Demons looking for another lead as we're halfway through the first half. Tied at 14 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Into the painted area goes Colbert, looks back door, Jersey Berg. What a pass. What a pass. Great movement from Jersey Berg. Never stopped moving on that play. But even the pass there, that was an excellent little bounce pass straight into a right-handed finish. Maybe the best thing about that whole offensive set there, Joe, was the spacing. Yeah. Girls were always moving. Everyone had good space to them. Um, just really isolates the defense, makes it hard on them. Good call. And now you get Cambry Fisher running over Zoe Austin, who is setting a screen. That one's on your teammate. 
not yelling out where the screen was. Yeah, just talk it out a little bit. Tell me left side so I don't run somebody over, please. Yep, that's the old one that gets the stink eye look like. <laughs> hey, you Do you want, want me to foul out? You want you want to you want to maybe call that one out? <laughs> See how they're 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 cutting that baseline girl away so they clear out a side for someone to drive. Decent action. Fridley cut off, has to safety valve it to Klimple. Now Lee falling down and she gets called for the travel. Good physical defense there on the on the baseline there uh, for the for the demons number 15. Um, Fisher did a really good job of sliding her feet and cutting off the baseline, forcing the ball out of bounds. Physical without fouling. Massey and Luther back on for the Demons. We can tell you that tonight's game brought to you in part by WRT. Enjoy high-speed action co-op cash from WRT, your local broadband internet service provider. And even eight to play first half, 16-14, Demons up by a deuce. And they get a post up to Luther. Goes to the dream shake. Oh, a sweet awesome delivery. Move. Awesome move and, and good ball. The, the whole offense there was good. Bismarck High was cutting and screening away, not allowing a double team to come on Luther. And Luther did a heck of a move to get to her middle and, and score that right handed finish. Well, if you like Johnny Horton, you know where I'm going with this one. 18 14, we took a little trip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that just aged me right there. My dad used to have an eight track of that one. Uh, close to the 10. Ooh, right on the line. Bismarck leads by four on that 18 to 14 score on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Zoe Austin slicing and dicing and getting deep, and she's going to be grabbed onto there by Paige Brewer, and that's going to send the junior Joey Austin to the line, or Zoe Austin to the line. Yeah, nice take there from Zoe. And create some contact, create some, you know, get to figure out a way to get to the rim and get to the free throw line. Nice way to break a run. 18 for take the little trip. <laughs> and not anymore. Zoe knocks it down from the serve pro free throw line. You notice how I was very silent in my singing because yeah, you know. I haven't really won any awards for that, that's for sure. Well done, well done. <laughs> Austin knocks them both down. Great free throw shooting so far in this game. I think we're six, seven for seven on the game. Yeah, nicely done. Jordan Root is checked on for the Bismarck Demon. She has the bounce. Off to Brewer, both teams have been man-to-man ma -man the entire game as that entry pass a little bit late and it allowed Austin to fly swatted out of bounds. It'll be Demon basketball as get a look there at the century bench. Mike Wolf, Matt Thornton, DJ Darren Johnson on the bench along with Coach Wellstead. Turning, burning, tough shot. That was contested nicely there as Jersey Berg missed it. One and done for the Demons, and Austin luckily threw it to Klimple. Oh, that shot returned to center as Jordan Rue got a piece of it. Yeah, Jordan Rue and Luther both there uh, to send that one right back to where it came from. Massey to Rood. Man, a tip of the cap tonight to Jordan Wilhelm. I printed off the wrong score sheets, <laughs> and we sent it to the Demons boys coach, and Johnny on the spot, he comes out of his office with a couple. Servant, servant leadership. Head coaches still get things done for others. I love it. That was great of Jordan to help us out. A couple freshly printed copies. Oh, there's a nice post up. Jersey Bird going to work. Even gave us a compliment of how nicely they were and organized and how much information we were on them. He was impressed. I mean, I'm, He uh, thought we were a Mickey Mouse organization I mean, here. Like we, we got stats, we got percentages, <laughs> we got, you know, the starters highlighted. I mean, come on. This isn't Mickey Mouse around here. We Who, got this thing down. Who's he thinks putting these things together? <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take credit for none of it. <laughs> <laughs> I bring a pen. Bismarck High had that defense ratcheted up a notch, and there's eight to shoot as the ball gets tipped out of bounds right in front of the near sideline. Century's got to go. They go to the handoff. Fridley leaves it for Foslin. Back to Fridley. Nope. She hit it, but it's a shot clock violation. That was just absolutely spark your team right there, being able to get a, a shot clock violation and, and get the ball back like that. I mean, the number of times you get those, you always seem to just really pump up the team, pump up the bench, pump up the girls on the floor. Stay tuned at halftime. We'll have our magic towing halftime report coming up here on the PSP Network. Bismarck High leading by four. Little flex got Addie Madison. Addie, Addie Massey, I beg your pardon. That's the second time they've scored on that backdoor flex cut. They need to figure out a way to, to talk that out a little better, get some help side. Demons with their biggest lead of the half. Fridley wants another one. That one ricochets off wide right. And you get a double dribble. 
little one-man press thrown on there by Century's Addie Weigel. Results in a turnover, and Century down by six. And this has been an issue for the Patriots the, these last few games, Joe. The, the scoring has just not been there. They scored ten points in the first three or four minutes, and they've only scored six cents, and they're not going to score in this possession either. Get a takeaway by Brewer. Oh, oh, too strong. Rebound to Fosland. Oh, lucky to get it out of there. Yeah. And there's going to be a mini tackle there by Brewer. That's one that, as a coach, sometimes you want him to let go because you might have chances for numbers, but you always got to call it because there's a collision like that. Basketball is a contact sport, not a collision sport. And Paige Brewer, by the way, just picked up her second. So Yeah, I don't have the exact number on that timeout, but I think it was like the 13-minute mark. So I think we're talking about eight minutes of six points, which, again, and that's 19 points for the Demons. 19-6 to six run, that's a, that's a quite, quite the number. Sentry gets a post touch. Erica Lee off the nice feed from Klimple, and Lee finishes it right underneath the 10. I think that's their answer to their half-court defense problems. I really think that she should get some, a few touches in there. She does a good job when she gets opportunities. She's got a post-up partner. I mean, there's, there's more than just get her the ball, but I think she, when she gets it, she has a chance to score a lot. Jersey Bird going to work. That was a tough finish right there. That was a one-footed fadeaway finish, and she nailed it. Bismarck High back up by six, 24-18 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Foslin wants to attack, air banks it with the left hand. Poke checked out of bounds by Fridley. Much to her disbelief, it'll belong to the white-shirted Demons. Going back to those easy buckets, I can only remember one transition offense so far for the Century Patriots. They just do not get out in transition very often. Just find in different ways, even if you get a defensive rebound, push it just a little bit, figure out a way to get it down the floor. Lakin Johnson on for Century, and she almost has a steal, but Massey comes sprinting out of there. Kicked basketball yeah. as Fridley got it with her shoe tops. Hey fans, tonight's game brought to you in part by Shields of Minot and Bismarck. You can vote for the player of the week on the PSP social media platforms. Go there and vote for and nominate our players of the week. Shields of Minot and Bismarck, proud to support PSP's mission of promoting local athletes. Oh, there's passing lane defense by Fridley. And now it's a little bit of a mini wrestling match. How about the Bismarck Demons? Doubling up this last weekend on the wrestling mat, both the boys and the girls bringing home the dual championships. It's kind of what they do. That is what they do. <laughs> it's like, hey, who's going to win the B? Someone from Emmons County probably, right? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's very similar when it comes to, to Bismarck High Wrestling. Foslin sets the O for the Patriots. Sentry's on a little mini scoring drought here. And a takeaway by Jersey Berg. She's going to go one on two. Ooh. Pulls up, short. Colbert couldn't rebound it. And her and Lakin Johnson fly out of bounds. She was watching her dad's highlight video on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hunter Berg made a few of those in his day. He's got a little Caitlin Clark in her right now going right to go uh, to the referee saying, I think I got hit on the elbow on that one. Bismarck High led by the six of Jersey Berg tonight. Sentry paced by four apiece by Austin, Foslin, and Erica Lee. Here comes Zoe Austin. Kicks it out. Foslin. Oh, in and out. Rebound. Massey is fast. Holy cow. Rebound to Massey, and here comes the water bug into the front court. Oh, is she fast. Berg will skip it cross court to Johnson Colbert, and she lost the handle, but it's last touch by Foslin. You can't see it. Yeah, they're both kind of stacked on that. Hitting legs, hitting feet, hard to tell. 3.36 to play first half in your BNC Bank scoreboard. 24-18, Bismarck leads by six. Colbert Johnson sets the offense. They look down low to Jersey Berg, posting up Fridley. She gets it in there, thinks about it, twists, turns, fades, no good. Rebound to Lake and Johnson. Now Century, Good Fridley, run. thought about throwing it ahead to Erica Lee. Good run there by Erica Lee. Austin gets a screen. Comes back against the grain. And now on the pick and pop to Fridley. Got a little zone here for, for Century. They're just switching everything. It's almost like a matchup zone. Lee can hit that. Nope, wide left. Berg with a good box out. And it's one and done for the Patriots. Century hasn't scored in about five, maybe six minutes, Joe. Yeah, it's five-minute mark. I said that one, and they end up scoring that possession, but it hasn't been much since. A lot of droughts. Johnson Colbert attacking. 
Good contest, good help there by Lake and Johnson. Push it, push it, push it. And now Lake and Johnson in the front court, and she has that ricochet out of bounds. Good hustle by Johnson Colbert. That's kind of what I'm talking about there. That rebound, there was three girls waiting to bring the ball down, help bring the ball down the court, only one breaking for a transition. Just got to be able to trust the ball handle a little bit, run down the floor, see if you can't get easy ones. Well, the other thing that's been impacting um, the century boys and girls a little bit is, you know, the, the, the flu bug and the, yeah. the hey. stuff that's going around right now. All teams are dealing with it, but, man, sure. you just hope that that doesn't hit tournament time. Yeah, for sure. Austin wants to... Goal, quick double team comes. The left-hander, Lake and Johnson, winds up a three from the left wing. No good, good hustle by Caitlin Luther. Man, I like her game in the first half here, Luther, and <laughs> she's fouled after the hustle play to get that defensive carom. Yeah, good defense, good, uh, good attack at the basketball there, going to secure it with two hands. Hey fans, nice game also brought to you in part by the UPS store, located on South Broadway in Minots. They're open Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 7. They're located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza, and they're there for all your packing and shipping needs. Miss Brewer's been pretty quiet so far this half with, with Eden Fridley uh, draped all over her, but um, able to a couple other girls to step up for him. Bismarck High on the attack, moving left to right. They're home whites. Johnson Colbert with a little shot fake. Brewer, lob in the post. Rude backs her way in. Strong move, couldn't finish it. Rebound tied up. There's Luther again. Yeah. Zoe Austin and her tied up, and it'll be century ball. Yeah, Kaylin Luther just kind of playing a really good basketball so game so far, filling the box score with rebounding and a little bit of scoring here and there. Black shot earlier. She's really uh, changing the game. Yeah, he's got four points. Averages 4.3 for the 5'9 junior. She's been standing out to me, passing the eye test here in the first half for sure. the Demons. He's got great length on the perimeter as well. 90 seconds to play in the said first half. Klempel, nope, Century's gone cold from downtown. Matter of fact, they haven't hit one from downtown tonight. I love the way Maya Rood rebounds the basketball. It, it, uh, it gets secured strongly in those two hands, and no one's getting that thing. Oh, yeah, she chins that baby. <laughs> oh, Massey with a burst. Luther right on cue. Hello. Hello. What a shot from Luther there. Really stepping up tonight, making some plays. Nine-point lead for Bismarck High. And a takeaway. Fisher with a nice steal. Berg shot fake. Yep. Easy bucket for Berg. And under a minute to play in the first half here. Do you want a timeout if you're Coach Wellstead? This thing could get out of hand. Yeah, if you, you don't. You want to get this thing under 10 here if you can. I would call a timeout, run a set, and, and play some good defense on the other side. Lake and Johnson. Now to Foslin in the left corner. 29-18. The Demons have extended their lead to 11. Fridley from the top. Long, lanky step, flip with the left hand, no good. Klimple rebounds, throws it to nobody. It'll be Demon Basketball. Bismarck High can guarantee a 10-point lead going into halftime here if they just take the last shot, which would be a huge burst to their team. In case you missed our Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show, Bismarck High has lost 24 straight to century. Nine years, 11 months, 12 days is the streak Bismarck High girls haven't beat Century in that long. They go into the break up by at least 11 here, Coach, and they're going to at least feel pretty good about themselves. Feel pretty good. You, 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 have, you, you understand that you can get it done. Coach, uh, Coach Shetler, after that set play where they had Jersey Bird coming off a little pin-down screen, uh, they had her, but they threw it about seven feet tall. If I'm Coach Shetler here, I'm not afraid to foul a little bit. You got two to burn before the, there's no reason they even let them get a shot up. Austin to beat the buzzer off the 10. Century went the final five. We're pretty close to it. Without scoring, folks, the Demon defense locked in. We'll come back with our magic towing halftime report. Good start here from their home gymnasium for the homestanding Demons. BNC Bank scoreboard at the break. It is Bismarck 29, Century 18. Magic Towing Intermission Report comes up next on the PSP Network. The yeah. PSP Network is proudly brought to you by...
PSP Network. It's game day. When facing disaster, it's not just the things we lose, but the memories. But there's hope. SurfPro, with decades of experience in Minot and Bismarck, is always ready. Our certified professionals don't just restore homes, they rebuild lives. Because to us, you're not just a client, you're family. Shields Visa is more than just a card. It's the freedom to go. It's a gateway to explore and do more of what you love. Imagine where the Shields Visa can take you. So join us in discovering endless possibilities. Shields Visa. Together, we've got this. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. Now Bismarck Kyle with an impressive first half as they lead 29 to 18. Bismarck on top by 11 here at halftime. We welcome you to our magic towing halftime report. If you blow it, they'll tow it. No job too big or too small. It's magic towing. Put this number in your phone right now. 701-509-4011. It's magic towing serving Western North Dakota. All right, Joe, let's break down that first half a little bit. Century came out guns a blazing, and then it was just kind of a slow climb for the Bismarck Demons. They got the defense locked in, turned into some easy baskets, and uh, once uh, Bismarck stopped Century from getting some layups, they turned the tide in that first half. Sorry about Sorry, that. I was talking to other people. I'm glad you did that. Uh, first six possessions, there was five layups in those possessions. Got a 10-point lead in the first three or four minutes of the game, and ever since then, it's been a juggernaut uh, of a defensive effort for Bismarck High. Uh, really, you know, really just think that Bismarck High getting into the groove offensively, getting able to set up that press, uh, forcing some turnovers, and then also, you know, really shortening the shot clock for Century has really been the key factor. They just haven't been able to get around the rim, haven't been able to get any transition. Other than the one offensive rebound put back or pass down to, to Lee, I don't really remember them really get an offensive rebound score since then. So um, it's, it's definitely been a, a one-sided battle ever since that kind of 15, 14 minute mark when that timeout was called. And um, essentially has got to figure out ways to, to get stops, get into transition, get stops, find an offensive rebound. I like the little set that they ran right away for Eden to get her a baseline drive there on the right side. They ran it later for Foslin. Just got to keep getting creative and finding ways in the half court to, to break that ice and get to the rim. Quick look at those girls' standings. Again, this is an important game. You got Minot 15 and 0, and then you got Bismarck, Century, and Legacy kind of log jammed in that number two spot. Mandan and St. Mary's trailing them. Dickinson, Williston, Jamestown rounding out the slate. So this is an important game in the West region. Right now, Bismarck leads 29-18 on our Magic Towing halftime report. Here's a couple halftime highlights brought to you by Magic Towing. The, the first one you're gonna see here is uh, a just Jersey Berg going to work. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, what else can you say? How about this little backdoor pass? Woo. Morgan Johnson, Colbert, that was sweet. And then and I think you brought up, too, the spacing on that play was just phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Just really good people moving out of the basketball. And then how about this play, Joe? This young lady stepped up in a big way in the first half. The junior, Caitlin Luther, going to throw it into her on the block here. Little shake, bake, drive around the defense, and the finish for Luther. And that was an impressive first half for the Bismarck Demons. All right, your magic towing numbers come up next. Uh, Joe, let's run through those halftime scoring numbers here as Bismarck High leads 29-18. Yeah, for the Century Patriots, they were led in scoring eight points from Zoe Austin. Two points. Of, two of those came from the free throw line. Four points for Erica Lee. Four points for Abby Foslin. Two of those from the free throw line. And only two for Eden Fridley for a total of 18. Did not hit a three-pointer in the first half and were four for four from the free throw line. For Bismarck High, they led in scoring 10 points from Jersey Berg. Uh, seven points from Caitlin Luther, a three and a couple free throws for her. Four points for Addison Massey. 
Uh, Ray Arud with three points. Three from Paige Brewer, uh, downtown three to, 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 to stop the scoring drought to start the game for Paige. And then two for Morgan Johnson Colbert for a total of 29 points. They were able to go three for three from the free throw line and knock down two threes in the first half. Yeah, an impressive first half. The scoring balance, just everything that Bismarck High was doing in that first half was well done. I'm sure Coach Shetler is pretty happy at happy at, ha at halftime. As here's a couple more halftime highlights for you. First off, uh, hey, the gal that uh, again, this is Jersey Berg. Watch this play. Stop, pop, fade. Oh, that's a tough Left finish right there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then here's here's uh, Caitlin Luther. You know, you see the tail end of it. She knocks down that deep three. There's your halftime highlights here, brought to you by Magic Chilling. Our thanks to them for bringing you our halftime activities. If you blow it, they'll tow it. No job too big or too small. Magic Towing, put this number in your phone right now, 701-509-4011. Magic Towing, serving Western North Dakota. We've got a score for you up in mind, and it's 43-32 at half. The Minot High Mad Jets are leading. But Jets on top will give you a full BNC scoreboard update when we come back. Second half action on cue next. Demons by 11 at the break. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of Finrun Sipic. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Finding the right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. It's Tundra Month at Cedric Thiel Toyota. With more than 30 new Tundras to choose from, starting under $50,000, there's a Tundra to fit every lifestyle. Built in Texas and sold right here in Bismarck, North Dakota, the Tundra is more than just a truck. It's an experience. Step inside to discover comfort and cutting-edge technology with the very best safety features. From the rugged SR5 to the luxurious capstone, there is a Tundra for every adventure. Just off I-94 is exit 161 in Bismarck. Cedric Thiel Toyota. Let's go places. All right, locked and loaded. We're ready for the second half of play. Bismarck High with the rock first. Brewer, Berg, Fisher, Johnson Colbert, and Ray Root out there first for the Bismarck Demons, their original starting five. Fisher thinks about it from the right wing. Down to seven to shoot. Berg crosses over, fades, shoots, got hit, count it! She got hit right in the face and didn't matter. She still knocks her down. What a great hesitation move that she has to get the defense to go right, right by her. Berg now with a floor high 12 and she's gonna tow the serve pro charity stripe looking for lucky number 13. Got it. The demons are up 14. Sentry comes out with their same lineup that they started the contest with. Zoe Austin floating up the running left-hander, no good, or the running right-hander to her left. Good hustle by Berg on the rebound. She hits the deck, she gets tangled up with Abby Foslin. So you got Zoe Austin, Erica Lee, Livia Klimple, Eden Fridley out there for Century. I don't mind that take from Zoe Austin. Get to the rim, that's a great look. Just, just isn't able to finish it, but I think that's a great take, great look from her. Put some pressure on the defense. Century could use some hoops. Bismarck High has held them scoreless for over five minutes here. Fridley looking for it. Went to the spin cycle. 
tried to kiss it home, couldn't do it, but she'll go to the line. Yeah, a lot of movement there. Isolated Eden on the baseline in a short corner kind of post action and was able to get to a get to a pivot and figure out a way to get foul, get to the line. And from the serve pro charity stripe, Eden Fridley knocks down that uh, one as that breaks that scoring drought as Fridley's just got her third point of the contest. First free throw missed of the game right there. Sentry gets it back. Rebound dug out of there by Erica Lee. Little pick and roll. Lee has it on the fun side. Kick out three ball. Foslin, ring it up. Great action there. The easiest three pointers to make are the inside out ones. Caught the roll, was able to find Foslin, prime the perimeter. Great, great action. Now Sentry gets a chance to get their full court pressure set up. And then you get the center point guard, Rhea Rood, and she's going to be tied up and fouled by Eden Fridley. They called that one a foul. They said they had her by the wrist. Fridley picks up her first. Fridley ran over somebody, no call. Brewer, count it! No, they nope, did not. They waved it off. Waved it off, yep. Yeah, Eden ran through two screens. They got her on the second one. <laughs> The first one was a little bit of acting, but the second one was just a straight, uh, do you, do you straight call, shoulder in the chest. Do you call that a Vladi d <laughs> There was a, yeah, the first one was a little bit of a flop, but Eden did run into two of them. You're going to get called in the second one usually. Fisher got into the lane. Bismarck high by 10. Attacking is Berg, and she's going to the, cheer, the, the serve pro charity uh, strike. They're going to talk about it. They're going to make sure they have not called anything yet. They're going to call block. Austin, that's Zoe, picks up her second. And from the serve pro charity stripe, uh, hey, I did so many games this week, I should have I should have uh, stock in Ricola and Halls. We got to call them. Maybe they'll sponsor. <laughs> Jersey Berg's got it stuck on automatic from the stripe. Sure does. 15 for her in the game. Yeah, she is making an early case for our Sport Clips MVP of the contest. Klimple with a quick step, got it out to Foslin, put it on the deck, and she got in amongst the trees. That's and the Foslin right attacking, and she got hit. Yeah, good call there from the from the opposite C. That's a good angle for him to see all that. Uh, good take from Foslin. Again, Sentry being aggressive, getting to the rim, looking for inside out looks. And we had the steady trip to the serve pro charity stripe here in the second half as Abby Foslin knocks down her third free throw tonight. And she makes two in a row. I love it that you're breaking down the officiating now that you're wearing the stripes so much. <laughs> it's awesome, Joe. Oh, uh, yeah. Got to be nice to those guys, too. They're working hard. They've, they put a lot of time in. I was in Standing Rock last night at Standing Rock Wapaton. Paige Brewer hasn't had much space tonight, but she freed herself up there for a 15-footer. So how big is that call on the, the screen the two times before? Now Eden has to back off, can't run through screens anymore, and all of a sudden Paige Brewer, Brewer can breathe. What a, yep. good, what a good play there from going right back to that screen action. 36-24, Demons on top by a dozen. Under 16 to play in the contest. A little Demons chant coming out of the home sideline. Foslin. Just Quick love step. how aggressive she's yep. being right now. That's awesome. Exactly. She's got five points here, nine in the game, five in the second half, and she's looking for double figures. Rhea Rude picks up the personal. There's gaps there, and you're going even Fridley and Zoe Austin as tight as there are. There's got to be some gaps to be able to find, and, and Zoe's found one in transition. Now Foslin's drove two. Erica League drove the one time and found Foslin on the perimeter. So um, all of a sudden, they're getting a little more aggressive with their head down, trying to find find some gaps. Well, and the Demons, I think, are very Simon Sharp, your coach. Yeah. to get your thoughts on this. Is Fos or check that, Fridley and Austin combined for 40 the last time these two teams played, and they now, have, they now have a combined 11. Yeah, you got to take them away. You got to figure out if anybody else can sense you can score. And right now, you know, right now, Foslin looks like the one that's trying to do it. Down to a 10-point game as Foslin converts both from the serve pro charity stripe. And Bismarck High sets the O against this man-to-man -man defensive set for Century. Caitlin Luther with a big first half. Oh, nice dime. Got it down low to Brewer. Her shot blocked. She got it back. Down to five to shoot. Brewer, does she know it? She's going to force up a left-hander. Nope. Got it poke checked away. And here comes Zoe Austin leading a 2 -1. Oh, how about that Euro step? Ooh. Oh, but she missed the shot. Go up. Go up. Free. Uh, 
Erica Lee rebounds. Fridley way out there. Yes! That is awesome. Pushing in transition, right? Get the offensive rebound inside out three to Eden Fridley. Really good action. Way to get extra possessions. Way to get two good looks on one side. Look at that Euro step by Zoe Austin. Uh -huh. good, con good contest there by Luther. Now how about the dig out by Erica Lee? Quick pass here from Foslin, and there's Fridley. Well, she gets some set, and she can knock him down. That's Sabrina range too right there. That's deep. That's, uh, that's, that's her getting guarded that toughly all year that she's had to develop a little bit more range and step deeper. Century down by seven. Demons 36. Century 29 with 1444 to play in the game. In times of loss, Surf Pro brings hope. With expertise in Minot and Bismarck, we don't just restore homes, we rebuild lives. Hi, right, fans. Tonight's game brought to you by Ryan Family Dealership to bring you those replays and the timeouts. Commitment and respect to their customers is strong today as it was 50 years ago. Five locations in Minot and Williston or shop online at driveryan.com. Out of the Nate Wilstead timeout, Century little mini run here. They've cut it to seven. Demons by seven, 36-29. 14.30 to play in the contest. Post up for Root. She got it deep. Going up, flipped it over her shoulder. No good. Rebound, Luther. Oh, and it's spun off, but right back to the serve pro charity stripe are the demons not gonna like that one coach Wellston it is an opportunity there to, to get a finish and defensive rebound and keep the run going and uh, miss the box out and then end up following luther that's about the first thing she's missed tonight here's a bnc scoreboard update uh, joe mentioned minot leading legacy up in the magic city 43 32 at halftime other West Region scores, you got Dickinson uh, at Jamestown tonight, and no report in from Mandan and St. Mary's. We'll keep updating you on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Broadcaster Jinx in full effect is talking <laughs> great about Luther, and then she misfires on two, three, or two free throws consecutive as Century off that empty trip by the Demons. Zoe Austin double teamed, kick out, three ball, no. Lakin Johnson couldn't hit that one, and the rebound to Caitlin Luther. And they have Aaron Wald and Anthony Vetter running the cameras for us tonight on the PSP Network. Hey, a little hand check there on Lakin Johnson. Are they both proud Bishop Ryan graduates? Uh, no, you got one St. Mary's. Oh, and, one St. Mary's. And, and There's one. a lot of Walds at Bishop Ryan, too, <laughs> so I didn't. Yep. Hey, we, we got the parochial schools covered up there on the well, cameras they sure, tonight. They sure do. <laughs> Lent. That just means they're Enjoy good. Enjoy your meat today, boys. Friday's coming soon. <laughs> just means they're good kids, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I call them kids because we're getting old, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I, I think some of, one of those played for me in ECI one <laughs> long time ago. Or he's, I think his older brother did for sure. So, uh, uh, Oh, boy. Fridley had the defense cranked up all the way out to the timeline, and then they're going to whistle Eden for a little extracurricular there. That's seven team fouls already on, on Century, Joe. That's Eden's third, too, and she's picked up two this half. Just got to be a little more careful. I know she's trying to ramp up the intensity a little bit, but got to be smart out there in the center of the court where the whole world can see you. And Paige Brew, an accomplished free throw shooter. She's just a good shooter, and yep. she can knock them down from the serve pro charity stripe. She does exactly that. She's got six in the contest. Bismarck High led by the... 14 of Jersey. He's got 14 or 15 now of his jersey or 16. 15? Uh, Jersey's got 15. 15, thank yep. you. Berg gets them both. Nice job there breaking the run, just getting to the free throw line, settling down and knocking them down for Bismarck High, getting it back to a nine point lead. Nine point advantage, as Joe said, for Bismarck. Century back with the pill. Zoe Austin likes going left, finishes it with the right hand. There are some gaps right now that these girls are getting into. I'm um, on the defensive end, Zoe's able to, to finish that one and get to her 10 points of the night, but um, got to gotta close those gaps down a little bit if you're Bismarck High. Double figures for Austin. Let's travel. Jordan yeah. Rude. Shuffle the puppies. As you got the Demons up by seven. I don't got a very good travel call. It just kind of comes out. <laughs> hey, fans, tonight's game brought to you in part by Northern Plains Heating and Air. 25 years experience as your heating and air experts. You can find them online at northern-plains.com. Tonight's game also brought to you in part by the UPS store located on South Broadway in Minot. 
in the Marketplace Foods Plaza, and they're there for all your packing and shipping needs. Foslin wants it. Foslin hits it. Third three of the second half here so far for Century. Foslin with two, Eden Fridley with one. Didn't make a single trifecta one. in the first half, and now Century's finding the range. Massey into a double team, and Century's got the foul bug going on right now. Yeah, they're trying to play more aggressive, but they got to be more aggressive and smarter, especially with the lack of depth that they have. Foslin got knocked into Mellon, and she's going to have to get some Sanford Orthopedic and Sports Medicine attention here is... Anybody gets popped in the lid right now, uh, they immediately take Double extra check. precautions. For sure. The good news for Bismarck High, if Massey makes one of these free throws, they'll score more points than they did the first time they played each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not good for good news for Century. No, just Bismarck High. As, as Foslin is the one that's been carrying the uh, offensive load for here. For sure. The, she's the one that's been getting to the rim and knocking down some shots. Looks like she's going to be okay. Yeah. As... Addy Massey bangs down the free throw from the serve pro charity stripe, and she hit them both. Sentry gets it to Klumpel. Little tic-tac-toe to Erica Lee. Fridley driving down the lane. How take. sweet was that? I just love the way right now Sentry's putting their head down and getting to the rim. Nobody's stopping them. Figure out a way to get to the rim. Century has trimmed this Demons lead to four. 40 to 36 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Almost a poke check. Now I've done so many hockey games, I start bringing in those <laughs> hockey references, Joe. I was going to ask you, what's that mean? <laughs> Kick out to Fisher. Hockey's a swear word in our house. We don't talk about that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Rude. Basketball's Kick cheaper. Kick out Colbert. Yes! Mm. To beat the shot clock. That's a big mistake there. That close out allowed middle. Middle and late shot clock is death. Big hoop for the Demons as Sentry has cut it to four. Now it's six again. Demons by those six. Klimple shot blocked. Austin got it back, short armed it. Ugh. Rebound. Fisher. That's Sentry a, straight up defense. That's the third good look Zoe Austin's missed today, point blank range. Now you get Berg from downtown, no good. Rude and call foul. battling on the rebound. And the bonus too. Yeah, Bismarck High is working hard. And you get Jordan Rude at the free throw line. Hey fans, nice game also brought to you in part by Minot State. 100 areas of study. 96% of their recent MSU grads employed or continuing their education. Minot State grads get jobs, period. Jordan Rude in, in and out. out. Heartbreak Hotel from the Sir Pro Charity Stripe. Century down by six, and they throw it right to Coach Wilstead. I was about to say with Bismarck High, I mean, every basket matters with the six-point lead, stretch it to eight, and especially when you you know you want those good feelings to stay. You want that, that distance between the two people before the before the pressure cooker starts, so to speak. Yeah, hey, I love it. You got an early pressure cooker reference. <laughs> Taylor Mayer on for the Demons. She's a sophomore. She has it right in front of the Demon bench. A couple bounces to her right. Got in deep in a double team, and she's tied up. Give uh, Century credit. They have not, even with the foul calls, they have not stopped being aggressive. They are attacking that basketball. <laughs> Taylor Mayer, Mayer dribbled into a double team, and she got a quick hook. Yeah, she sure did. Hey, we, we might need to not do that again. This is Century now. <laughs> Jersey Berg off the bench, firing. No good rebound. Rude, yep. Count it. The hoop and the harm. Ray Rude. What a great pursuit of the basketball from Ray Rude. No hesitation when she got it. Goes straight up and, and still had a century Patriot on her side. Good good uh, chance for a three-point play here. And for the old-fashioned three-point play, book it. Rude. This Mark has had the answer to Century's attack so far. Gets them both. Good to see Abby or gets uh, the and one. And the Demons up by nine. As Foslin, good to see her back in the game. She has the basketball. Johnson, little pick and pop. Fridley from the left corner, three ball, no good. Rebound, dug out of there. Austin and Berg tied up. It'll be Century basketball. Yeah, get, get it. Uh, just attacking the basketball, trying to get jump balls, trying to get steals. No hesitations right now. Uh, we're going to see a new player here. We got number 12, is it? Yeah, Caitlin Brown. 
Entering the game for the first time. And she will have the honors of triggering it in. Nope. I say. Made a quick twitch. Faslin, you go toss it in. Little safety valve to Fridley. Jabs once, tries to go around Rude, drew some contact. How about that finish for an and one opportunity? Great play design there from, from Coach Wellsta. Gets the switch, gets Rhea Rude on Eden Fridley yeah, on the perimeter. Not the matchup I'm sure Shetler wanted, and Eden was able to get all the way to the rim for the and one. Well, did it, they didn't count that? Ooh. Oh, man. I think we're all upset about that. Now my score sheet's all messed up. Yeah, I just did some squiggly marks as well. <laughs> Century didn't get the and one opportunity. They said it was on the floor. Should pay better attention to when they poke it down or not. Foslin on the bounce. Off to Austin. Pull up free throw line, a little short. You know, that, that Ray Rude just does a lot of little things good she, for the Demons. She really does. Fills the box score, plays really hard. Uh, just an energy giver. Gets you eight points, five rebounds, assists, steals. She's even made a three-pointer on the season. Oh, Brewer around a screen, a little too strong. Tried to kiss it home. And even 10 minutes to play on your BNC Bank scoreboard. The Demons by nine. Brown will reverse it. Ooh. What do you get, a timeout? He got a timeout before she threw it to Shet timeout. Coach Shetler. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. I mean, it was a good the whistle was blown well before the pass was made. But. And you get a Ryan Family dealership timeout on the court. Bismarck 45, Century 36, 9.51 to play in our contest. For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. NODAC Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. Uh, fans, tonight's game brought to you in part by Roger Ward Moving and Storage, probably hope, ho helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. You can find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com. Tonight's game also brought to you in part by Prestwich Orthodontics. Braces and Invisalign for all ages. You can find them online at minotbraces.com. Sentry avoided the turnover, and all I got to beat the shot clock. Fridley twisting, turning, and another non-shooting foul on the ground. It's going to be Annika Kavine, who's on the sophomore. Klimple will trigger it in. Austin backs in against Brewer. Kick out Foslin. They swing it around the wheel. Fridley's going to get a screen from Austin. Switching defense by the Demons. Fridley in attack mode. Goes right into a straight up Ray Arude. Now Bismarck High's got a power play. Five on four. Brewer stops, pops, left elbow. No good. Went after a rebound. Got it back. Second chance Demons. Bismarck's winning the 50-50 balls right now. Brewer. No. She misfired on a couple, and when she gets her feet set, she is deadly, but she misfired on that one, and it'll be Bismarck Century Basketball. Just talking about 50-50 balls, and that one's as it's going out of bounds. Really, nobody has a chance at it, and who's still chasing after it? Jersey Berg and, yeah. and Brewer. I mean, the, the two seniors that know every possession matters right now are trying to get any extra ones they can. Halfway through the second half, Bismarck high by nine. Austin left elbow, stop, pop, hit. Breaking the run there, getting it back to a seven-point game. Austin with a dozen, her and her and Fridley are picking it up here in the second half. Still a seven-point lead for Bismarck. Demons go to work in front of their bench here in the second half. Kavine, little post entry, bounces it into Rude, and... 
Klimple was trying to play straight up, but she kind of got the leaning tower of Pisa yeah. into Rhea Rude and right to the Sir Pro charity stripe goes Rude. Yeah, she's got to work her. She can't just stand behind Rhea Rude. She's going to get buried on that one. She's got to be able to work to a front a little bit and and uh, figure out a way to, to eliminate a pass in lane. And Rude misfires on the first one. Massey on for the Demons. Lee back in for Sentry. Finding a touch for Erica Lee here in the next couple minutes. I think it'll be very important. Get a chance, go to the free throw line, get a layup, figure out a way to, to get her an easy one. Bismarck High, as always, will extend some pressure. Ooh, that's a good looking play to Supernaturals right there. I just said that. How much time do we have between games? <laughs> in my head, that was going through there. Not enough. <laughs> Century little catch on the perimeter. Fridley stop and Whoa. go. Lane open, scoop to the hoop, no good. Awesome move, just a little higher on the finish and she would have had a bucket. Of course, Eden Fridley, the U Mary women's basketball commit. Coach Newman in the house tonight. Coach Newman in the house, watching his daughter earlier. Oh, now you get the couple thousand officials in the building. <laughs> oh, a little backdoor play. Kaveen tried to get it to Luther, taken away by Century. And everybody in the arena from Bismarck High knew that had been Eden's fourth, so they really wanted it. Well, now you get Massey with a little riding time there on the Demons. Well, when you haven't beaten a team in nine years, 11 months, 12 days. <laughs> Every possession matters. Every possession matters, Every folks. call or no call matters. Everything matters. The last time the Demons beat the Patriots, Macy Lynch, Jordan Josart, and Cass Wilhelm were playing for Century. <laughs> now they're all coaching somewhere in town. <laughs> yeah, and they don't even have the same last names. They're yeah. probably all married. Yeah, they're all. I know one of them is for sure. <laughs> yeah. I think they all might be, as a matter of fact. Eight-point lead for Bismarck High. Trying to answer that is Lee from 18 feet. No good. There's Caitlin Luther on the defensive glass. Fast break up ahead. Johnson Colbert stopping and popping. Kept alive by Jordan Rude. Out to Brewer. No. Rebound. Luther Bismarck again. High. Luther. And she's hit. 50-50 balls right now. Extra effort plays. Bismarck High is winning them all. Especially on the offensive rebounding end. And Erica Lee has fouled out. That's going to be five on Erica Lee. Boy, that happened in a hurry. She picked yeah. up a couple quick ones here in this last run. And Luther from the stripe. Eight big points off the bench for Caitlin Luther tonight. I haven't had the privilege of doing a Bismarck High game this year, but I can't imagine how she only averages four a game. <laughs> how active she's been. She's made threes. She's offensive rebound. I just feel like she has opportunities on every possession to score. Ten point lead for the Demons. Massey is a fly in Zoe Austin's ointment. Austin misfires on the step back. Bismarck High, another 50-50 ball. They tie it up between Klimple and Paige Brewer. I can't uh, under or overestimate, you know, the difference here. The, the centuries, you know, the, their, their size, once you get past Erica Lee, yep. obviously Eden Fridley's a six-footer, but she doesn't necessarily play on the block. No, it's length, too. Like, there's just, they, I mean, I feel like Bismarck High outlanks them in every position. Paige Brewer hit the deck. Coach Talk Shetler is begging Fried Lafrilli to get another foul. <laughs> and he, know, he knows the count, and he's trying to get that fourth one so bad. Talking about the fly in the ointment, it was Massey on one end, and then it was Fridley on the other end. Tit for tat. Lakin Johnson with the rock. Klimple operating down low. Scoop, no good. Good defense by Jordan Rude. Almost a takeaway as Brewer now is double teamed and you get it off to Massey. Now you get it up ahead to Luther who gets it off to Johnson Colbert. Ball didn't touch the ground, but they miss fire. Big There's Brewer. Brewer. She hasn't scored, but man, she kept the ball alive and done a really good job of just, you know, taking care of it and getting extra possessions. Bismarck high by 10, approaching six minutes to play in the game. On your BNC Bank scoreboard, 48-38 Demons. Post up Colbert, double team, running one-hander. Paige Brewer. Just when you say she hasn't scored, now at nine on the game. And a Ryan Family Dealership timeout on the court. Yeah, we tried to get you a Ryan Family Dealership replay there, but sometimes you misfire. Bismarck 
high, feeling it off the century timeout. BNC Bank scoreboard, 5.58 to play in the game. Bismarck 50, Century 38. Bismarck High kickstarting my heart here. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic Towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion, obviously because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Well, it's not quite in the pressure cooker with over five minutes. Yeah, just I heard you the other night in the show, you had like a definition for it. Like you yeah, had like a... Yeah, it's, it's got to be within the criteria. It's like, uh, <laughs> like three minutes or less and under a five-point game and it officially... I like it. You're a man of principle. Comes into the Chick Hearn pressure cooker. Not every game can have a pressure cooker. That's You're right. a man of principle. You stick to the, stick to the routine. I That's like right. It. Fridley from deep. Short. Flat-footed rebound to Jersey Berg. Sideline Ooh. fast break. And Coach Shetler says, Old man Coach Shetler got up on that one. <laughs> he says, score in time, ladies. <laughs> We're up a dozen. Let's respect the possession. Bismarck High by 12. Fridley on a handoff. Austin bothered there by Massey. Bismarck defense has been pretty good tonight. Yeah, and Century looks tired. That comeback to start the first five, ten minutes of this half. Took a lot out of them. They right now are, they're dragging a little bit. Foslin forces the issue, and only three gals have scored here in the third, or the second half, I beg your pardon, fourth century. That would be Fridley, Foslin, and Austin. And Lee's fouled out, hasn't played much this half. Brown we only saw for a minute or two. I mean, they're basically down to a six, six lady rotation. Yeah, the one girl that's provided some scoring punch for Century lately has been Olivia Klimple, but she hasn't been on tonight as Jersey Berg misfires. There's Rood pounding the glass. Yes! Ray Rood through all kinds of contact and, and, uh, and, and uh, pressure there was able to still get the offensive rebound and put it up on the glass. Fridley, she might have shuffled the puppies. She did shuffle the puppies. There's a lot of things that was happening in that play. A really good screen set. Took the defender off guard. Good defensive set there. I didn't catch the number. Bismarck High was in good position. And a lot of things happened there. Bismarck feeling it a bit here. Up by 14 with four and a half to play. Oh, wide open. Oh, a little back cut off the screen. There's Massey. Count it. And one. Yeah, great job there, Defend, uh, just a little set there. There was a, a down screen and a back screen set at the same time, and Massey set the down screen and was the beneficiary of setting a good screen and being wide open underneath the hoop. Yeah, we're going to get your Ryan family dealership replay there, but uh, took a little bit too long, so we'll come back to that. Big play there for the Demons. Massey couldn't convert the old-fashioned three-point play from the Sir Pro charity stripe. Austin was off. Good hustle there by Klimple. Yeah, really good play by Klimple, using her length to get over Massey and knock it off her leg. It's been the depth here in the second half. Century's got three girls in the scoring column. We are packed in here right now. Yeah. <laughs> like this thing is, this is going to be a wild night of hoops. Fridley with the step through. Nice play. Just a really good basketball player. She's really developed on the offensive end. And um, she, you could just see how much the work she's put in this summer, knowing that she was going to be the go-to person on the offensive end for Century. I like Rhea Rude showing off the handles a couple times tonight. She, she has. She brought it down and... Handled it, jump stop, and kept the possession. Bismarck High can go in a little conservative mode here, run a little clock on these possessions. Root says, clock this. She goes right to the rack, and she's fouled again. I like the second half for the senior Rhea Root tonight. Really good, really good. Been aggressive, gotten to the free throw line a few times. A lot of offensive rebounds, keeping the basketball alive. Just done a really good job. Rude from the Serve Pro Charity Stripe. Knocks it down. Serve Pro 24 by 7 Emergency Service. Trained technicians, advanced technology, fire and water cleanup and restoration. It's Serve Pro. 
Demons with their biggest lead of the contest, 15 points as Rood gets one and two. Under four to play. Fridley wants a deep one, nope. Rebound, Johnson Colbert. Coach Shetler says, yeah, just slow it down, slow it down, take it back out there. Berg attacking, Brewer shooting, Brewer misfiring. Rebound to Lake and Johnson, and she's tangled up there with Massey, and that'll be seven team fouls, so we'll walk to the other end. And while we do that, we can tell you tonight's game also brought to you in part by Shields of Minot and Bismarck. They present the PSP Network's Player of the Week. Go to our social media platforms, vote, and nominate our Player of the Week. Shields of Minot and Bismarck, proud to support PSP's mission of promoting local athletes. Bonus free throw. Nice play there by... Lake and Johnson to bury that. Lake and getting her first bucket of the game. And the second one for the freshman. Johnson gets them both when she needed to. Well, Coach, I was once part of a game where we were struggling the whole game, down by 12 with 2-12 to play, and we came back and won by four. So anything is possible. <laughs> And that was in a regional semifinal. I think I've heard this story before. We won't go into the is whole. It your, is it your favorite story to tell at this time of games? We won't go into, <laughs> into a whole breakdown as Johnson Colbert got loose down low. Huge bucket there, just settling the settling Bismarck High down, getting another layup. Foslin with a quick return on the other end, and we get a Ryan family dealership. Timeout on the court. Bismarck High. Try, trying to erase about a decade of frustration against the Patriots and C Century down by 13 right now. Bismarck 57, Century 44, 248 to play in the contest. The foundation of the financial planning approach at Legacy Financial Partners is a personal relationship. Our unique and collaborative approach to financial planning starts with your dreams, not just the numbers. We will work with you regularly to take action to update your plan as your needs evolve, recommending products and services that are right for your situation. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go, the team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. Well, it doesn't classify officially into the pressure cooker. But when you have a one in nine years, until that thing sounds, you're gonna have a little pressure on you, right? 3,636 <laughs> days since the Demons' last victory over Bismarck High. Or over Centra, I beg your pardon. And you get Austin with a little hand check. And then Berg did a free throw line. It has been a steady trip to the serve pro free throw line here in the second half for the Demons. Jersey Berg, how about the first half for her? Double yeah. figures in that first stanza. This will be for 16th and 17th of the night. Yeah. Four, four from the free throw line. She and knocks down the first one. Second one, I mean, got them both. I'm sure she's missed a free throw in her day, but I don't know how. <laughs> Bismarck that e thing is pure. Bismarck equals their high water mark. They lead by 15. That's their high point number of the night. Lane open, Austin flips it up with the left hand, no good. Berg relieves some pressure off to Paige Brewer, she pirouettes and gives it off to Massey with 2.17 and counting to play in the game. Bismarck High just content, running that shot clock down. Brewer's open, didn't take it. Fridley's gonna foul her. I don't know if I... It's not the person you wanna foul and not the person you want fouling. <laughs> well, but yeah, and, and, and you got 10 on the shot clock, right? Yeah, so might as well do it earlier if you're gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's the... That's the piece part that I was a little bit miffed, mystified there by, but it plays, and Brewer to the free throw line shooting a couple. She looks like she's at a KC hoop shoot right now. Yeah. 
There's some things, too, to think about. And I, don't, I mean, I think I know the tiebreaker, but I'm not positive. But keeping this thing within a certain, the, the max points, I think, is important, too, for Century, just in case the tiebreaker does come down to a point differential. Fridley launches in transition. Can't hit that. Brewer rebounds. Bismarck high. I'm just going to call it. They are ending the frustration tonight as Johnson Colbert missed the shot. They're up by 17 with 145 to play in the contest. Zoe Austin spins, fades against Massey, and Century's gone cold. Massey rebounds, banged into there by Fosslin. Now you get a 1-2-3 car pileup at the timeline, and Addison Massey's going to be going to the serve pro free throw line. Austin picked up her fourth. Stay tuned after the game. We'll have our planning team financial advisor, Shots Crossroads postgame show. Get a word from uh, Victorious Coach, player interviews. Like to promote local athletes on the PSP network as Massey knocks down the free throw. 18 point lead for the Demons, make it 19. Annika Kabeen into the game. Another senior getting, uh, getting some minutes here. Absolutely. Austin went into Johnson Colbert, and it goes harmlessly out of bounds to the Demons. Another senior Fisher is going to come in. And I think, I think Coach Shedler is going to try to take one senior out at a time here if he can on senior night. Why not, right? You've got the luxury up by 19 with under 90 seconds to play as Austin and Fridley come off, so Century looks like they're kind of calling off the dogs. Bismarck High, they're going to enjoy this one. I can tell you right now. Yeah, they this, get a whole week to uh, sit on and win five yeah. in a row, including beating Century. That's a great way to go into the WDA tournament. Yeah, absolutely. Cambry Fisher tied up there with Foslin. They're going to be reaching on Foslin. Yeah, that'll send Fisher to the free throw line. Looking for her first points of the contest tonight. Somebody once told me that, yeah, you guys at PSB do such a great job, it's going to impact the attendance. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out now. We got nope. standing room only. I mean, come on. Nope. They're still here. They'll probably watch it when they go home. I've heard that a lot of people going home oh. and watching the game again, hearing what was said, watching. Like, I've heard that numerous, numerous times. It just it makes people love the hoops game more. There goes Ray Arud. I don't know. I'm, I might be. I might be. I'm going to be switching my vote here. I kind of like the second half that Ray Arud came to play with. <laughs> Do I get to change my vote, Joe? I don't know. I don't know. I have the mic, so whoever <laughs> I want to talk to. <laughs> you might have to get both Berg and Rude. It's that big of a win for the Demons. Well, then we, we can't leave Brewer out then if we're going to do all of them. Can't well, we yeah, well they, got, they got so many seniors. We can't, <laughs> we can't get them all. Yeah. And, here comes and the now subs. the rest of these seniors are coming out as Rude went off a moment ago. Yeah, there's the Demon Faithful. It's about a decade in the making, folks. We had to switch our camera angle on this one. So it's Danny No for the seniors. Winning their last game at. 65-44, Bismarck on top. 48 seconds to play in the contest. We'll get you these new names into the lineup. Good man, Heidi. As you get, uh, handling the basketball, there's Taya Fettig. Fettig gets it in the block, and tied up there is Cambri Cambrian Newmiller. Yeah, she lost the handle, and it'll be Bismarck High. Turnover as Century. Lakin, Brown, Lakin Johnson, I beg your pardon, gets it off to Addie Weigel. And into the game for Century is Olivia Thunderhawk. She'll reverse it back to Lakin Johnson. Thunderhawk back on the right wing. Cross court pass back to Weigel. She looks to attack back to Thunderhawk. She'll launch from downtown. No good. Weak side rebound. Tied up, and that's the way this one will go into the books. Bismarck 65. Century 
44-44. Bismarck High ends a 24-game losing streak against their rival Century tonight. Bismarck 65, Century 44. We welcome you to our planning team, financial advisors, Shots Crossroads postgame show. Planning team financial advisors helping clients toward financial freedom and Shots Crossroads, your postgame headquarters. You can order online at shotscrossroads.com. I guarantee there's going to be a couple ecstatic folks on that Bismarck Demon sideline tonight. You're going to get a word from head coach Bill Shetler here in just a moment. A couple player interviews as the coach Joe Cattell has made his way down courtside. And yeah, let's send it away. Take it away, Joe. Coach, uh, Mr. Domries, I'm here with Jersey Berg. Congrats on the victory tonight. It's been a long time since you guys beat Century. I won't bring up how long, but your first time in your high school yeah. career. Just talk a little bit about the mindset going into this game and what it took to get it done. Yeah, we knew it was going to be tough. I mean, they're such an athletic team, and Fridley, Austin, they're so good, and that was kind of a defensive focus for us, for sure. And that's also the thing, like, we want to get better defensively. We want to get better offensively. And I think last time we played them, our offense just wasn't there. And I think tonight we did a lot better with that way. Five wins in a row going into the WDA. The last I looked, Legacy was losing to mine it. Looks like you may be clinching second place all on your own. Just talk a little bit about how the girls are playing right now going into the tournament time. I mean, I'm really proud of us. I mean, I think we really stepped up. We had a couple of rough stretches, a couple of rough games, and I think we've really stepped up good there, and I'm excited for the tournament. Awesome. That, that game, there was a lot of different things that happened. Seven seniors, or a bunch of seniors, senior night. You had a good game scoring. Maya was awesome in the second half. Paige did her thing, just keeping the ball moving, scoring when she needed to. Talk a little bit about the seniors that you've played with these last few years and what just winning the last game in your home court meant. I mean, it's unbelievable. Like, it's crazy to think it's our last game here, and it's always nice when you play Century. I mean, it's packed here tonight, and that's great. And I'm so proud of the seniors. They work hard every day in practice, every game. And I'm so proud of them. I'm really sad that we only have six <laughs> games left, but hopefully six games. <laughs> well, if you keep playing like you are, you'll keep playing for another couple weeks. Congrats, Jersey. Thank you. So I don't want to break the silence between you two, but I just heard you say over and over again to Jersey, I'm so proud of you. Just talk a little bit about Jersey, your teammates. I don't want to tell you what Todd's been telling people all night. Nine years, 11 months, and 12 days since you beat Century. So just talk a little bit about all the emotion of tonight, seniors, and, and finally getting that monkey off your back. Yeah, I, you know, first of all, that just shows how dominant and how good of a program Coach Metz and Coach Wellstead uh, have had. And, and, you know, it's pretty special for us to beat them on senior night. And, you know, I'm getting emotional just those six seniors have meant the world to me, just like all my other seniors. But they go through so much. They do so much. They love each other. You know, they, they build our culture. They build our program. So I'm just happy uh, that we were able to win on senior night. The century part is sweet. But just getting a win on senior night for those girls was, was even better. Yeah, looking a little bit forward now, five wins in a row. Going in the WDA, the last I looked, Legacy was losing the minute. Looks like you might be sitting in second by yourself. Let's talk a little bit about the growth of this team and where you're, where you're sitting going into the tournament. Yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things where when we came out and saw the schedule, I was like, oh, my goodness, we got, you know, we got Davies, Red River, Century, Legacy, Mandan all in a row. Uh, but I think going through those early trials and those early kind of tough games, you know, got us prepared for this last stretch. And, you know, this is a fun win, but it's a, it's a regular season win, uh, and we still have a lot of big things in front of us. As a guy that did it for a long time, you got a week and a half to enjoy this, all right? Yeah. Please enjoy for a couple nights before you start prepping. Yeah, we'll try to, but it's, it's hard. You're focused on the next <laughs> one already, but, yeah, we're going to enjoy this one. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Back to you, Todd. Yeah, well done. Joe Cattell down the sidelines. You heard from Jersey Berg, who had fingerprints on this contest the entire night long. And Bill Shetler gets his first victory against his rival, the Century Patriots. A lot of respect there for Coach Shetler and the Century program. As a final score on your BNC National Bank scoreboard, we'll come back with more of our planning team, financial advisor, Shots Crossroads postgame. Bismarck High exercises the Demons tonight on their home court. 65-44, the Demons victorious over the Patriots tonight in our postgame. Rolls on after this timeout on the PSP Network. Presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by...
PSP Network. It's game day. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shaw's Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shaw's Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shaw's Crossroads. It's Tundra Month at Cedric Field Toyota. With more than 30 new Tundras to choose from, starting under $50,000, there's a Tundra to fit every lifestyle. Built in Texas and sold right here in Bismarck, North Dakota, the Tundra is more than just a truck. It's an experience. Step inside to discover comfort and cutting-edge technology with the very best safety features. From the rugged SR5 to the luxurious capstone, there is a Tundra for every adventure. Just off I-94 is exit 161 in Bismarck. Cedric Field Toyota. Let's go places. Oh, well, that was fun right there as Bismarck High. No pun intended, but they exercised the demons. 65-44, <laughs> your final on your BNC National Bank scoreboard. Bismarck High ends about a decade-long drought against their crosstown rival, the Century Patriots. We're back in our planning team financial advisor shots crossroads postgame show. Planning team financial advisors here to help you work towards achieving your financial goals. You can visit them online at planningteam.com. And Shots Crossroads get filled up in their delicious menu that includes the famous 99. Order online at shotscrossroads.com. Team buses are always welcome. You can just hear it in Coach Shetler's. What, I mean, the, the, not only the um, the respect, but oh, yeah. it, it, just the monkey. The monkey off the back, so to speak. Um, and then you heard it in Jersey Berg's voice as well. That's a big win for the Demons. Heck of a win. And, and like you said, you heard it in Coach Shetler's voice. First of all, he, I mean, nothing but respect. Paid tribute to Coach Matz, paid tribute to Coach Wellstead of what they've been able to do and, and give them their props and, and then able to talk about his seniors and winning the last game here for them. And um, just a cool way, just a cool way for him to be able to reflect um, reflect tonight and get that big W. That was, that was cool to see. All right, Joe, we got a couple things to take care of here on our planning team financial advisor shots crossroads post game. But first, the numbers as Bismarck High improves their record to 15 and 6. 12 and 4 in conference play now. They will likely be the number two seed. Century Falls to 15 and 6, and now they are 11 and 5 in conference play. Here, here's the final game numbers. Yeah, Ledden scoring. Uh, Century Patriots scored 44 points. Ledden scoring from 16 from Abby Foslin. 12 points in the second half for her. Uh, they had 12 points from Zoe Austin. 10 from Eden Fridley. Four from Erica Lee, and two from Lake and Johnson for a total of 44. Uh, for the Bismarck High Demons, they had seven uh, seven girls in scoring. They were led in scoring tonight by Jerseysburg, 17 points. Ten of those came in the first half. Uh, they had 11 points from Paige Brewer. Uh, I'm sorry, only nine points from Paige Brewer. Quiet night from her, but did a lot of other nice things. Ray Rude with 10. Uh, nine, point, nine points from Caitlin Luther. Six points from Morgan Johnson Colbert. Two from Camby Fisher. Um, and I miss Addison Massey's 10. So a nice night, seven different girls in scoring, 65 points scored for the Bismarck High Demons for a 21 point victory. All right, Joe, a couple particulars to take care of here. As first, let's give you a couple post game highlights brought to you by Ryan Family Dealerships. The first one, um, hey, I, I was voting, I, I think, for. Uh, Ray Rude, but here's a shot. This was the shot clock dwindling down. Yeah. Johnson Colbert with a big hoop Four there. point game too, if you notice on that yeah. scoreboard. Absolutely, that was a big hit in the second half. And then this one for Eden Freely. Watch this finish, folks. <laughs> Just I mean, do it all right there. Come on. That's uh, pretty good stuff right there. Those post-game highlights brought to you by Ryan Family and Dealership. And what Eden goes through on a night, night to night basis, and then playing 36 minutes, guarding the best defender, uh, you know, at being asked to score the basketball. What she has to go through is impressive. 
All right, here's your move of the game, brought to you as always by Jobbers Moving and Storage. They can help you move across town or across the country. Locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. Find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. All right. Hey, I think she at least had a vote in uh, the MVP of the contest, but hey, Rhea Rude. I mean, uh, the effort that she brought in that second half. Watch this little rebound. Watch Rude off this missed shot here by Jersey Burr. Watch Rude just kind of road grader her way in there. <laughs> Grab this rebound, finishes with some contact. The and one for Rhea Rude yeah. is your move of the game. And remember too, you know, for anybody watching, basketball is not a contact. It's a contact sport. It's not a collision sport. Right there, Rhea Rude's doing nothing wrong. She's just getting position. Uh, the, def the defender player isn't doing anything to move her or hold her ground. Rhea Rude just is more aggressive to the basketball and goes and gets it. Here's your move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. Efficient step-by-step -step approach. Keeps everyone on the same page with their move management locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. Find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. Of course, we got one more to come and a big week of action here on the PSP Network. we got the boys game coming up next. You got Legacy and Minot on tonight. You got girls region four basketball on tonight, the semifinals. The finals on Thursday, boys district eight up in Minot on Friday. Then you got the A, B division qualifiers, girls basketball from the Minot Auditorium on Saturday. All right, Joe, last thing for us here. It's our MVP of the contest. Check in online with a hairstylist today at sportclips.com who brings you our MVP on all of our PSP network broadcasts. You talked to her, Jersey Berg had yeah. that mid-range go game going tonight. Yeah, she did. She, you know, when they when they had struggled in scoring there in the second half, in the first half, she was the go-to person, and she was able to kind of stretch that lead out. And then in the second half, Century came back, closed the gap again. What's Jersey Berg do? Gets to the free throw line five times, makes all five of them. But it's easy to pick the player of the game off points. But the 50-50 the balls Jersey got, the defensive effort she gave, the rebounding she put on the play, pressure defensively to, to cause some turnovers. I, I just thought her whole energy was to win this basketball game tonight. And, and her and her other seniors, too. I thought they just they all showed up tonight and, and gave everything they had. Scoring the basketball, obviously, is easy to look at. But there are so many other things that Jersey did well tonight. Jersey Berg, the senior, is your Sport Clips MVP tonight. Sport Clips, nothing makes you feel like an MVP like that. Haircut experience at Sport Clips tonight. Game, game MVP, Jersey Berg, the senior for the Bismarck Demons. All right, that'll put a wrap on game one. We'll take a short in-between game break here, and we'll come back and set the stage for the Bismarck Demons and the Century Patriot Boys Contest coming up next. Final score in the girls contest, Bismarck 65, Century 44. Almost a 10-year drought ends tonight against their rival as the Demons beat the Patriots on their home floor. Presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... PSP Network. 
It's game day. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor, New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Todd Domrys, Joe Cattell back at Carl Gard Gymnasium in the center of Bismarck. The center of the capital city's attention tonight is on uh, the Demons and the Patriots. We turn our attention now to the boys' contest. Century, number four ranked, the Patriots 16 and four on the season, and the Demons, number two ranked, Bismarck High, 15 and five on the season. This one should be just as entertaining as our girls contest a moment ago as we welcome you to our planning, or check that, our uh, Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Stay in your car for a drive through oil change. We don't waste your time or theirs. Technicians perform a full service oil change in about 15 minutes. Locations in Minot and Bismarck. Find us online at VIOC.com. Century number four, Bismarck number two, but Hey, lately, it's kind of different trajectories, I would say, for both of these two teams. Bismarck High, to me, has been ascending a little bit. Century started so strong, winning their first seven, and then since then, it's been kind of an even-steven thing for the Century Patriots. But, hey, man, throw, throw that stuff out the window. It's the Demons and the Patriots tonight. Yeah, and, and this is pretty much already a lock where people are seeing completely opposite of the girls' game. You know, Bismarck High is going to be two, and Century's going to be three. This is more pride. This yep. is more about cross-time rivalry. This is more about a bad taste in your mouth from the last time. Like you said, Bismarck High's won 11 straight games, and, and the Century game's in the middle there somewhere. Yep. Um, and, and they've been able to do that without with losing Eagle Staff, too, right in the middle of there. They've been able to kind of keep their streak going. And, and Century had to find their way after losing the Bismarck High. It's almost like they lost their identity. Barely beat Williston, had to beat them on a buzzer, lose on the road at Dickinson, um, and, and were able to kind of regain their footing a little bit other than the minor two losses. So um, two completely different trajectories, like you said. Uh, Century still trying to find rotations. They're playing a lot more guys than Darren Madden usually plays. And, and so they're still hunting a little bit while it looks like Bismarck High is just a machine going towards the WDA tournament. Here are those boys standings that Joe just mentioned, and a lot of these things are already locked in. As Minot, in all rights, uh, likely is going to be your number one seed as you head into the WDA tournament next week. Bismarck High locked into that number two slot. Century locked into that number three slot. Slot Dickinson, Mandan, still some things to settle in that four and five. And then you got Legacy hanging around. Jamestown, Williston, St. Mary's rounding out the WDA slate. All that brought to you by Shields tonight. And other games will be tracking for you. You got a double header tonight on the PSP network. He's got Legacy at Minot as well on the network. And games will be giving you updates on on our BNC Bank scoreboard. Mandan at St. Mary's and Jamestown at Dickinson. There's your WDA boys standings tonight brought to you by Shields of Minot and Bismarck. We mentioned the poll earlier, but here's the boys poll. Two ranked team, Bismarck, two ranked teams in this contest. Bismarck High, that's uh, slate on the right there, has climbed up to number two in the latest sportscasters and sports writers poll. Century has fallen from three to number four, but they're still uh, in that top five poll. And uh, yeah. Sets up to be entertaining. And the thing that I want to go back to, Joe, is these two teams played back on January 21st. If you're and a Century fan, that game never happened. If you're Bismarck High again, we're never going to forget it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Century had won four straight in this matchup, but the Demons just blasted them. Oh, 103 to 61. That beatdown uh, did not happen on um, January 22nd. January 19th, yeah. I beg your pardon. Tayshawn Eaglestaff had 25 points, and he was making shots from everywhere. Now, he's out of the lineup, but it's been a number of games since there. He got yeah, uh, in injured against Mandan. And, uh, hey, but the reports, I was talking to Tayshawn earlier today, and uh, it, he's getting that thing off here in a couple days. So there's still some <laughs> there, there's still some d debate coming off of that cracked fibula that, 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 that 
He's not so. He, they're not so certain that he may be able to get back in the lineup. But I, 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 I don't say that uh, with any certainty. But um, you know how kids are. They heal fast. They heal faster than than old men like well, me and you. I think so. You saw no. you saw Tayshawn down there. Yeah. It's senior night. Uh, he's one of the seniors getting recognized for the Bismarck Demons. So yeah. To go back to the year, you talk about that game. I mean, you know, Century was I think second in the state going yep. into that game. I think they hadn't lost yet in the WDA and and Bismarck absolutely. Put him, took him to the woodshed and one thing that I don't know if everyone noticed I'm sure some people did and some people like turned it off or left before then but Coach Mattern left his starters on the floor until the end of that basketball game. He wanted to make sure that those guys witnessed and experienced every moment of that beatdown. He knew it was gonna, they were going to play each other again. Tonight they play each other. It looks like they're going to be two and three. That could be a semifinal matchup. Like, this isn't, that wasn't the first time. It ain't going to be the last time that those two play, team played. And, and Coach Mattern made them eat their crow a little bit on the floor and, and made them kind of, you know, just kind of stick their chest up and take every, every last hit that Bismarck gave them. So hopefully there's some pride tonight from Century they're able to bounce back and, and show that that's, that night was just that night. And a couple things that I want to talk to you here as we get to our Northern Plains heating and air keys to the game as Bismarck High is such a unique team to play against. Uh, you've got that balance and then you've got a kind of the guy that, straws, or that stirs the drink a little bit for the Bismarck Demons and Andre Austin. That is a unique thing to play against and that style and the way that they just kind of bring it, bring it, bring it at you the entire game. Yeah, I got a unique ex ex you know, experience with that. So I was coaching at Mary and Jordan Wilhelm and the Mary alum. He played summer basketball. I've known Jordan since he was you know, 13, 13, 14 years old. And, and he, we sat down after the WDA. It was like the second or third time they, they got knocked out early um, and before they made their big run with, with Swanson and with all those guys. I think it was Hellebus senior year. And he goes to me, he goes, I can't beat Century playing the way Century plays. I got to figure out a different way. And he was just, he, he had a different look in his eye, and he's been dead set since that moment to this moment that this is the way we got to play. We got to play 10 kids. We got to play 12 kids. We have to have a program developed. We got to get, we got to play hard. We have to play fast. We have to, you know, do all these things. And, and he had a plan, and he's put that plan into place, and not everybody likes it. There's, there's certain, some that don't. Um, but you can't, the proof's in the pudding, man. He's, he's been to the semifinals of the state tournament. He's had, Trace and Eagle Staff, who's one of the best players in the Summit League, play for him and being a, a Mr. Basketball playing in this system and also, you know, transferring that to the college system. Um, and now he's been able to do it with a bunch of guys that, I mean, I think he had one senior last year and he's been able to just continue yep. this and get these guys to play hard, get them to believe from, from freshman year all the way to senior year that this is the way to play. Um, and I give him a lot of credit. He, is, he has been firm with this is who we are and this is how we're going to win games in the WDA. And everybody has to prepare for him differently. Yep, 100%. You, you have to know when Bismarck's on your calendar. Your summer workouts change. Now you got to prepare for when you play them and you got to work on, you know, Five on seven. A, a, a friend of mine from the EDC called me a couple years ago. How good's Bismarck High? What should we be preparing for? It was Craig Irwin at Shanley. And I go, put eight guys on the floor and, and go against the press, man. <laughs> and you better have some, if your freshmen aren't very good, put nine. He goes, oh, Joe, we've gone against presses before. I go, you've never seen anything like it. Because they play so many guys that they're all so high energy. So you're 100% right. It's, 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 it's something different, but it's really worked for Coach Wilhelm these last four or five years. A couple other elements that are new this year for the Bismarck Demons, I believe, is not just the style you mentioned that they only lost one kid last year a senior drew hendrickson yeah. jenner smoothie he transferred yeah. out of the bismarck high program went over to the crosstown rival century you knew the last time they played Whew. that they everybody knew. from bismarck high knew exactly uh what was happening there and they came loaded for bear but the guy the guy i want to focus in on is a guy that i don't know if bismarck high has had and that's big jack schaefer in, in the middle of this thing and he is unlike anybody else in the entire conference so my and some people know this, some people know my brother used to be a college football coach and he's coach offensive line at ndsu he's had more phone calls about that young man than he's had in four or five years from some of the coaches he knows around the country including uh big 10 coaches so yeah big shaq schaefer that kid's a monster he's able to play fast he's able to play with his quick feet he's just a load in the middle and and he's able to adapt to this system too and bring his own thing to the to the table and man i, I can't tell you how that, that kid has changed his body in just a year from last year to this year and i can't imagine what he's going to look like next year that dude is going to be an absolute monster and he loves playing for coach willem he loves playing football and to get a guy like him to buy into two sport well he's, i think he's a good track throw too if i'm not mistaken but to get a guy like that that loves to compete to buy into your hoops team too
do. Um, that's awesome, and he is a he is a different animal, man. That that kid is built different. It's our Valvoline and Snow Change pregame show. 15 minute oil changes locations in Minot and Bismarck. You can find us online at VIOC. Dot com. All right, I want to talk about the Century Patriots for a, m a, minute. You, a minute. You talked about Coach Darren Mattern and letting that kind of thing soak in a little bit the last time these two teams played. You know what you're going to get on a nightly basis out of guys like Drew Kempel. You know what you're going to get on a nightly basis out of guys like Isaiah Schaefer. I mean, th those guys come and play every night. Century's been kind of changing things up a little bit. You've seen Schomer uh, coming off the bench now. You see a guy like A.J. Spears that's coming and starting in the lineup. And so they're kind of still trying to th th a few things out. And I, I would expect to see Spears starting again. And that's going to be some uh, beef in the middle again because he's going to be going against Jack Schaefer for much of the evening. And so it's a, it's a little bit of Century. I still think and trying to find that exact right rotation as you get ready for tournament time. Yeah, you look at what they had the last three years with all the, the big three, the where the Jackson, you know, they – it took them a while to figure out who's even going to be on the floor for them. And uh, after the game, after a couple nights, I think after the Dickinson loss, they went to Garrett Nisley instead of, uh, instead of, uh, help me out here, instead of um, in the starting lineup, instead of Schmoody, yeah. uh, instead of Schmoody. And, and Garrett's giving them a nice spark. Garrett has a, a pedigree of basketball. We all know what his sister did. Um, but he, this kid is his own, his own individual and can really score and play well. Um, they've gotten a little bit more to Gibby. They've trusted Gibby a little bit yep. more. You know, they really baby Gibby, Gibby early in the, and I think it was really smart. He was a freshman. Let's not throw too much on his plate. We got enough talented older, older guys that we can work him in and let him play a quarter of J half a JV. And he ain't playing JV anymore. Him and G him and Garrett are, are into this rotation. I watched him on a high game the other night, and it was Gibby and 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 Garrett that was kind of keeping him in that game for a while. So I, I just think those two guys have gotten a whole new workload. We've seen Braylon Aldinger come off the bench yep. a little bit. Yep. Uh, another sophomore. Now, I've told people this all year. Braylon Aldinger is on any other team in the WDA. He's playing. Five, he's playing 15 minutes a game. The kid is a, a phenomenal player. He just He's behind some depth on this team, and um, I, I think they got some depth right now, but they also have a rotation issue that they need to probably figure out before next week. This one should be good. Our thanks to Valvoline Instant Oil Change for bringing our pregame tonight. 15-minute oil change. Stay in your car. Locations in Minot and Bismarck. Find them online at VIOC.com. Buckle up. It should be fun. Century. Bismarck, the rivalry renews when we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the opening tap. Bismarck High, 15 and 5, number 2 in the state. Century, 16 and 4, number 4 in the state. You got it locked and loaded. Coming up next here on the PSP Network. It's Tundra Month at Cedric Field Toyota. With more than 30 new Tundras to choose from, starting under $50,000, there's a Tundra to fit every lifestyle. Built in Texas and sold right here in Bismarck, North Dakota, the Tundra is more than just a truck. It's an experience. Step inside to discover comfort and cutting-edge technology with the very best safety features. From the rugged SR5 to the luxurious capstone, there is a Tundra for every adventure. Just off I-94 is exit 161 in Bismarck, Cedric Field Toyota. Let's go places. That sinking feeling you get when this happens? That's oil change anxiety. The anxiety of being without a car with a billion things to do. The fear of being overcharged. The stress of not knowing where to go or who to trust. But you never get those feelings at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, where you can watch us work right from your car, and we finish up in about 15 minutes. We changed our oil and did our 18-point safety check. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Service you can see, experts you can trust. Time for your starting lineups. First off, for 10th year head coach, Darren Mattern and the Century Patriots. Isaiah Schaefer averaging just shy, just shy of 20 points a game. He's a 6'3 senior. Oliver Jensen joins him in the backcourt. He's a 6'1 senior. Drew Kempel is a forward. He's going to stand 6'3. Uh, I'm trying to see who exactly Century, uh, they're going to ring Garrett Nisley out yep. there, as you mentioned. Uh, Nisley and Spears. Nisley, the 6'3 sophomore, and in the middle is A.J. Spears, the 6'5 senior. Patriots will have three seniors, a junior and a sophomore, in that st 
starting lineup. Now it's time to meet and greet the Bismarck Demons. The Bismarck Demons. <laughs> and their ninth year head coach, Jordan Wilhelm. Now they're gonna start Luke Doctor tonight. Senior. The 6'3 senior. Tayshawn Eaglestaff. <laughs> They're announcing him in the ceremonial starter tonight. I love it. He's still got, he's still got the boot on. <laughs> uh, maybe those, the Gilsays aren't sure. They just announced him as seniors. I beg your pardon. As uh, We didn't get the official starting lineup. So Ty Lutzen will get a start tonight. He's a 5'11 senior. And then you're going to run out Quinn Hafner, the quarterback himself, the 6'2 senior. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have uh, Carter Henke, yep, the 6'1 senior as well. Preston Lemaire is going to be in that starting lineup. He missed the first four games of the season. He's been back and loaded up ever since, 6'3 senior as well. And the last starter in the lineup tonight, Carson Henke. The 6-2 senior. I if there's one team that it really doesn't matter who starts, that would be the Bismarck Demons. They might as well announce all 10 of them I because don't, they're going to play. I don't imagine you're going to see Andre Austin on the bench too long. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah. I'm, guessing he, uh, I'm guessing he's on the early list for, uh, for Mr. Pintar. Thanks again to Valvoline Instant Oil Change for bringing you our pregame show. 15-minute oil changes, locations in Minot and Bismarck. Find them online at VIOC.com. Todd Darmies, Joe Cattell. Set for tip-off, going to have Aaron Wald and Anthony Vetter running the cameras and producing for us tonight. Do a great job, as always, as Century in their road blues, the navies outlined in red and white, Bismarck High in the home whites outlined in the mar demon maroon, and we are underway. Century will come out man-a-man. -man. I have to get that Bill Raftery reference <laughs> in there every time. Lutzen will come over to Carson Henke. Century, sticky man-to-man -man defense. Lutzen gets deep, gets it out, kicks it out. Carson Hanke, pull up, right side of the lane, no good. Box out and a rebound, goes to Oliver Jensen. Bismarck High will get this pressure cranked up even on made and missed baskets. First possession of the contest for Century. And they're going to swing it near side to Nisley. Bismarck High also man-to-man. -man. Nisley oh. cross court, a little too tall as Oliver Jensen couldn't elevate and collect. Yeah, a little bit, a uh, little stagnant there. Not a lot of movement on the, the Patriots. Got to cut a little faster, move the ball a little quicker. Ball was pretty sticky on that possession. See a couple more seniors come out there for Bismarck High. You get Ross Fisher into the lineup. Check that, he's a junior. And also, quick entry into the contest, Andre Austin and Luke Doctor, the senior. Austin will have it. I think Luke Doctor's another football commit, isn't he? Isn't he heading off to U-Mary or someplace like that? Uh, I, they just—they might have just announced that. I, but, think, uh, they, I think he is. Going Carter Henke's going to Dickinson State as Andre Austin can penetrate with the best of them. Good contest there by A.J. Spears. Missed shot, but a poke away. Luke Doctor, Henke, elevates, scores! Nice play there from uh, Bismarck High, adding that pressure to the to Century to try to get on a breakaway and weren't able to secure the basketball. Yeah, if you think you're going to dribble the basketball up and bounce it about six times up the court Got to break it with the pass. against Bismarck High, you are mistaken. Johnson, Jensen sets the O. They're denying Isaiah Schaefer all over the court. Carson Henke gets the initial assignment. It's That's a real close to a five-second count. He wasn't really going anywhere. Screen up top to A.J. Spears. He fires a pass down low to Kempel. Three to shoot. Nisley from downtown. No, off the 10. Weak side Karam. Collected by Doctor, gives it off to Austin. Here comes Bismarck High. Carter Henke locks and loads. Nope, wide left. That's the first one they've missed in two games against the Patriots. <laughs> Kempel with the defensive board. Nisley to Jensen, now to Kempel, and we're into the front court for Century. 2 nothing. Bismarck High leads on your BNC Bank scoreboard. A couple minutes into the contest. Leap and leaner, the scoop to the hoop, no good. Spears return to center. Great block by Andre Austin there. Austin wants to attack, keeps the bounce alive. He's cut off. Now we'll flip it up and score. Straight attack from Andre Austin. Got beat on the, on the rebound from Spears. Blocked it, got it down the floor, and pivoted enough until he got a wide open layup. 4-0, Bismarck High leads. Century 
tries to slow the pace down because Bismarck High can get you sped up. Isaiah Schaefer rises from the right side, no good. A couple guys pinball off of each other and the rebound cleared by Carter Henke. Austin back, Carson Henke back to Austin. Bismarck High just gets your heart rate going at a different speed and <laughs> every jump shot seems just a little bit rushed. Austin wants to spin into the lane, kick out Carson Henke. Now back to Carter Henke. Got a fresh five coming in for the Demons of the next, next whistle is Ross Fisher. Carson Henke steps in, mid-range shot, oh, denied. Erased by Garrett Nisley. Oliver Jensen, duress, and he comes into the front court. Good Century. defense there by Nisley there, just challenging the shot and keeping the ball in play. That's one thing you forget about Garrett Nisley is he's six foot three. And he's long, he's skinny, but he long. A.J. Spears, nice pass. Kempel, layup, no good. Rebound, put back, no good. Rebound, put back, no good. Century snake book. Yeah, Kempel shot that one with the wrong hand on the wrong side and wasn't able to finish the layup. Austin, kick out Fisher, steps in. Back out to Andre. He'll crank up a right side three, no good. Rebound dug out of there by Luke Doctor. Extra pass, Austin again. No, short, another chance. Now Austin goes into attack mode, flips it up, no good. Nisley tips a rebound right to Austin. Schaefer and, and Oliver Jensen both weren't in their rebound, and you gotta have all five guys rebound, or you're gonna get beat on the glass every time. Who made that bucket? That was Andre Austin. Andre Austin got the put back. Yep, and a quick 6 nothing start for the Demons, just but like Century did in the girls game. Without making a three, too. And now Garrett Nisley dribbled it off the shoe tops. And the turnovers are mounting here early for Century. Spears gets the blame for not getting those rebounds, but I tell you, he's trying to take care of his guy. There's four or five other guys charging in there for offensive rebounds, and he needs help. Century looks like, oh, still man to man. Century subbed one time, and Bismarck High has already played 11 players. <laughs> Differing styles. <laughs> for sure. Austin floats a shot up. Big Jack Schaefer into the contest. It's hard to keep him off the glass. You got to move him. You got to get lower than him. You got to get into his hips. And you got to show that there's contact being made. Jack is not going to get punished for being taller. Weston, or bigger. Weston Scott also on for Bismarck. Grady Swanson also on. Lutzen back in. Big Jack Schaefer has the inbounds. Sets a big screen for Austin. Flips a pass. Lutzen from downtown. Nope. Kempel flies in for a weak side carom. Sentry back. Isaiah Schaefer from way out there, rims off. Austin rebounds, Bismarck wants to run. Kick out Lutzen. Lutzen, extra pass, Grady Swanson. Bang! Grady Swanson for three. And an early Ryan family dealership timeout on the court. Bismarck high in transition. Austin, kick out Lutzen, trailing the play. Grady Swanson, set those puppies. The sharing the basketball on that play is outstanding. That's the best three they looked they've had the whole game. No surprise they made it. 9 nothing on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Bismarck high leads, 12.35 to play first half. Banking is some of the most important things in your life, and banking at the right bank is very important. We're really proud of our bank because we have great people and our people are what make our bank go. We always want to treat our customers right and do the best job we can for them. And try to do things to help make our communities better. The right way to top a sub is with real red wine vinegar made from red grapes and no food coloring. And the right way to film it is in slow motion. Obviously, because authentic ingredients make a sub above. Hey fans, Ryan Family Dealership commitment and respect to their customers is strong today as it was 50 years ago. Experience the difference when you visit one of their five locations in Minot and Williston. Shop online at driveryan.com. They bring you our timeouts and our replays. Uh oh, Century having a hard time getting it in. Schomer gets it back from Kempel. Schomer wants to go against Schaefer. Operating, finishing. Good take there from Schomer. A little bit out of control and unorthodox, but was able to get it all the way to the glass and, and get the job done. Kale Schomer off the bench with the Century's first two. Weston Scott flips it up. No, couldn't finish it, but he's hit. 
You yeah. guys want to see a matchup right there. Gibby Kinnebrew versus Weston Scott. Those two are two outstanding freshmen that you're going to hear more and more about in the coming years. Gibson Kinnebrew picks up the personal foul into the serve pro free throw line. Goes the other freshman, Weston Scott. You can't even call him freshman anymore. Nah, it's February. It's over. Exactly. Your, uh, your grace is gone. Scott knocks down the first, lines up the second, right-handed free toss. And to He's, be honest, did either of them ever play like freshmen? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those two are super talented dudes. Those dudes have a lot of basketball under their belt already as ninth graders. Bismarck High with an early lead. They lead 11-2. Gibson Kinnerbrew right on cue and right between the eyes. Right on cue is right. I was just going to say maybe a little quick, but when you're talented and get it open, you just take it. Tip pass by Nisley. Collected by Bismarck High. Hafner gets it up top to Andre Austin. Weston Scott comes near side. Swanson with an itchy trigger. Austin wants to penetrate, kick out Swanson, no good. That was Isaiah Schaefer boxing out Jack Schaefer. Yeah, that was a great rebound by Kempel too. Missley uh, in transition, bingo! I was, was going to say on defense, there was three great closeout. Ginnipru then, then get a Nisley and back and forth and back and forth. A lot of good defense being played right now for, for the Patriots on that half of the floor. Hafner from That's downtown and Rebound ricocheted out of bounds, last touch by Century. That was a great job right there by Schomer, boxing out big Jack Schaefer, wasn't able to get the call, but did keep him from getting the ball. He was doing his best. He did the best he could there, that's for sure. What do you think Schomer gives up about? <laughs> I don't want to guess big Jack's weight because that would be rude to him. No, I didn't ask you. I said, um, what do you think <laughs> 200. he gives up? <laughs> 150. <laughs> <laughs> and right on cue again, there's big Jack Schaefer. The diesel puts home his first two. And he is as light as his feet and good as hands as you're going to see at a man his size. Schomer, shot faking, operating, couldn't spin it home. Kempel's doing a great job on the boards right now, really competing. Kempel on the glass, kick out Nisley, wants it, short. Schaefer rebounds. Demons on top, 13-8 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. 10-30 to play first half. Hafner Ooh, thinks about it. For three. Zone. Well, maybe not. Maybe just confusion of who's guarding who. Scott will elevate and finish in the lane. Just a little confusion there between Nisley and uh, Kempel, I think, of who was supposed to guard who. Bismarck high by seven early on. Eight minutes into the contest. Century settles into an offensive set against this man-to-man -man defense for Bismarck. Schaefer lets the defense fly by, missed it. Kick. Uh, Nisley tipped a rebound. Kinnebrew fires. Nope, off the back 10. Andre Austin. That's the thing about Andre. You don't realize how many rebounds that guy gets. Yeah, coast to coast, oh. too. You yeah. got to be able to stand in front of him. You can't, can't assume he's just going to run you over there on the charge. Andre Austin's got a half dozen, and the Demons lead again by nine. Sentry's fall in love with the three a little bit on this side of the floor. How does Sentry keep that from going out of bounds? That's just the athleticism of Gib Gibby Kinnebrew. Sentry sets the O once again between the rings. Now a dribble entry on the right wing for Kinnebrew. Good pace here for, for Sentry being able to slow it down a little bit. Ah, Not Kemp well executed. Yep, Kempel, a little too much duress and traffic in the lane to get that pass off to Kinnebrew. Turnover Sentry. Grady Swanson, extra pass is tipped by Drew Kempel. And now you're going to get... A.J. Spears back in, Oliver Jensen back in, then you previewed him in our Valvoline yeah. and Snow Change pregame show. You get Braylon Alding Aldinger, the sophomore, into the contest early. Yeah, Braylon's one of those just kind of glue guys, really good length for a wing player, can make open threes, uh, and he's actually a very good ball handler as well, so nice, nice to just get another ball handler out there. Halfway through the first half, Demons by nine. Weston Scott gets deep, flips it up with the left hand, got a rebound, short, and he got hit on the elbow, and Bismarck High are really working on an offensive glass right now. They're not making shots, but that doesn't change the way they play. They're still physical. They're always attacking the basketball. Sentry, you know, that time he shoots it. Sentry looks to see if he makes it, and they're already going after the ball for an offensive rebound. you got to be able to get a body on somebody right away um, and, and, and end the possession. Weston Scott averaging six a night, four rebounds, two and a half assists. 
And he gets them both from the Serve Pro Charity Stripe. Yeah, what a luxury for Bismarck High. Lose a guy, Tracing Eagles have who 25 against these guys last time, and they're able to play 11 and just not skip a beat. Kennebrew in transition, hanging and delivering. Such a good ball handler there. Gibby under control the whole time, getting to his right hand, knocking down the layup in transition. Yeah, Ross Fisher back. He's got an itchy trigger. Yes! The freedom that these guys are able to play with on the offensive end and know that there is not a shot that they're, they're not going to be able to take. Second made three for Bismarck High early on. Kennebrew rises, friendly roll. gibby has got the answer right now to for century on the offensive end. Still a 10-point lead for Bismarck High. 22-12 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. They leave Fisher. No. Good rebound from Spears there. Spears rebounds, chins it up. Oliver Jensen, just got Schaefer open. Thought about a three. Great job closing the gap there from, uh, from LaMare. Just did a really good job of not getting Schaefer any freedom. Schaefer throws it away. Gets it off to Carter Hankey. Hankey wants to go. Oh, pinned by Oliver Jensen, return to sender. Now here comes Kinnebrew, floating, flying, charge. Drawn by Weston Scott. Yeah, another freshman to freshman play. Weston Scott getting all the way down there, getting, giving up his body, getting his chest in front of the ball. Uh, did a good job of making a, making a tough decision for the ref. Ref calls the charge. Play him. Hey, fans, nice game brought to you by Planet Pizza. That's Gibby's second, too, which is not good. No pizza like it. Call them at 852-1700. They've been serving the Magic City for over 25 years. Austin had a switch, wanted to go against Spears. Hanky had hands. it poke checked away. It's loose. Bismarck High winning the 50-50 balls right now. Carter Hanky back to Austin. And the Demons have five to shoot. They go to the head tap. Austin gets the switch. Into the lane. Nope. Rebound to Century. Gibson Kinnebrew with those two personals. Doesn't have the seatbelt rule, and he's in. Kempel almost traveled. Now a little God. give and go. Spears, Kempel, extra pass. Kinnebrew, three ball. Nope. Good block out on the weak side by Luke Doctor. Bismarck high up the sideline. Andre Austin shakes, bakes. Oh, return to center. Kinnebrew and Spears in the vicinity. Here comes Aldinger. Spinning, Ooh, operating, missing. Sentry's a little cold. Yeah, they're just not able to cash in on that, that transition. Good take there, good, good block from Gibby to lead to transition. Demon still by 10. Swanson crossing over. Is that a third on Gibson Kinneber? Yeah. Whoa. And I think Garrett was there to get him out. Nisley was there to get him out, and I don't think that's... I fancy tonight's game brought to you by Minot State. Minot State University, be seen, be heard, be you at MSU. Night's game also brought to you in part by Northern Plains Heating and Air. Northern choice to seal your heating and air game, the Northern Plains Heating and Air. I thought Jack Schaefer was going to shoot his first three of the season right there. <laughs> Preston Lemaire tried to go back door, taken away, almost taken back by Lemaire. It is. Hafner has it. Demons turned it over, and then they turned it right back to the screen and roll game. Austin, yes! Spears is just having trouble right now with the speed of the game, staying in front of drivers and, and, and getting to that, those boards quickly. He's, he's, got, he's kind of got himself in some bad spots. That's over and back. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that is over and back. They just about weren't in position to call it, but their Zebra's got it right. So it was right on our vantage point, yeah. and the turnover goes to Bismarck, and Bismarck has doubled up Century here. 24-12, 12 point lead for the Demons with 5.57 to play in a fast moving first half. Yeah, for sure. Rebounding right now has been the big key. Bismarck High is just absolutely dominating both sides of the glass on offense and defense. Night's game also brought to you by Roger Ward, movingandstorage.com. Contact them today to schedule a move or get a quote. Been doing it since 1942. Roger Ward, movingandstorage.com. There's a tough take for Hafner. Rebound, put back, no good. Rebound, put back, no good. Rebound, put back, it's good. That just can't happen. Garrett Nisley was the only guy trying to get that defensive rebound, and he didn't get a box out either. Four guys watching, one guy jumping. Uh, just not going to get it done against this Bismarck High team. 
You give them four chances, and they're going to convert, and you get a Ryan Family dealership timeout on the court. Bismarck 26, Century 12, 5.33 to play, first half. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <laughs> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster and know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all, except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips, it's a game changer. In times of loss, Surf Pro brings hope. With expertise in Minot and Bismarck, we don't just restore homes, we rebuild lives. And we'll come back with a Ryan Family dealership play. Watch this. Yeah, and watch the rebounding effort. There's, there's only really one guy in there. Everybody else is watching. Lemaire, Scott, Lemaire, yes. <laughs> yeah, and then that's just, you just got to, you know, Bism our Bismarck Century's really got to pick it up and concentrate on the defensive end and, it, and rebounding especially. And I used to talk about that arc, that charge arc. That's also a really good example of a rebounding arc. You've got to get your toes outside that thing in order to get a defensive rebound. If you're un inside that, heels inside, the only thing you're good for is to get, it, get the ball through the basket. <laughs> you're good for nothing else for us. So you got to get yourself outside, box out, get your toes outside that arc, and, and be able to rebound the ball. Rusty Gillette would love that because he always asked, how fast can you get it in bounds? <laughs> Shot blocked there by Schaefer off the hands of Schomer. Schomer wants to go back, elevates, no good. Schaefer rebounds. Weston Scott, headman pass, Lemaire, shot fake, go up, score! And this is, this is an interesting one from the game of the last time. Right now only two three-pointers made for Bismarck High, but same result. Still got a 16-point lead, still able to get it done on the defensive end. Um, and they've played this whole half so far without a foul, if you can believe that as well. That's unbelievable. That's one thing that the Demons have been doing much better this year is playing this aggressive style without fouling. As we can tell you, that tonight's game brought to you part by the UPS store. Located on South Broadway in Minot, they're in the Marketplace Foods Plaza. They're there for all your packing and shipping needs. Night's game also brought to you by Northern Plains Heating and Air. Factory authorized dealer for Aerosil. You can find them online at northern-planes.com. It helps you get a bunch of seniors that have done it for a bunch of years, right? And they know where those fouls come and where they don't come and, and how to get away with a few more and play physical without fouling. It's good so, to have a veteran team in this kind of a style. Century down by 16 here, under five to play first half. Nisley throws it almost away, but Kempel collects, shovels it to Schomer, teardrop shot short, Schaefer rebounds. Tipped it to himself, and now the Demons are back. Reward the big man here with the cat touch. Leading by 16, Fisher was probing. Andre Austin off the de defense, and then good hand there by Schaefer, but Sentry just couldn't finish the possession. Yeah, everything's too fast right now. Just got to squeeze that ball and secure it first. Great defense from Schaefer. Took the first bump in the chest, able to get the next bump and, and get a hand on the ball and, and poke it loose. Great defensive effort there by Schaefer. Hey, fans, tonight's game also brought to you in part by Shields. They bring you the PSP Network Player of the Week as Weston Scott lines up a right side three. And the ball gets poked out of bounds. It'll be Demon Basketball. You can go to PSP's social media platforms. Vote for the Player of the Week, Shields of Minot and Bismarck. Proud to support PSP's mission of promoting local athletes. Another sophomore that's gotten a lot of minutes here in the last month, Joey Krolik checks into the game. A uh, guy that can bring a lot of energy, quick feed on the defensive end for, for Century. Carter Henke turns the corner, couldn't finish it. Rebound to the Patriots. I can tell you today's game brought to you in part by Prestwich Orthodontics. Braces and Invisalign for all ages. You can check them out and find them at MinotBraces.com. Central lob it over the top. Catching, shooting, and getting fouled was Drew Kempel. Yeah, good catch there, good pass from, from, the, from the left wing there from Garrett Nisley, or the right wing from Garrett Nisley. Good two-handed catch, secured it, got fouled, gets to the line. Carter Henke picks up his first, and... You get the Bronx cheer from the Century faithful that Bismarck got their first foul called on him at the 349 mark <laughs> of the first half. There was no sarcasm from that cheer? <laughs> Not at all. Jenner Smoothie sees his first action of the game here, checking in. See if he can give them a little spark. 
And Kempel got them both. Gets his first two of the game. Yeah, they're going to need Drew to be good tonight. Yeah, he's the he's the one strong physical guy. He can go get rebounds, get to the rim, make a three here and there. You're going to have to get Isaiah Schaefer going at some point in time, Ooh. too, if you're the Patriots. Sure do. He has yet to score. Operating was Lemaire. Good defense from Smooty. Good play there by Jenner Smooty. I think Jenner Smooty wants to play well this game. I think he does. I think he wants a little redemption. Demons by two touchdowns, 28-14 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. 3-18 to play first half. Schaefer looking to rip through, floats it up, and the lane friendly roll for his first two of the night. Yeah, on call there from you. Uh, Schaefer able to get the ball and get a little bit of space, not much, and able to make a tough right hand and runner. Bismarck high back. Just play catch on the perimeter. With under three to play in the first half. Weston Scott, oh, slippery move around the defense. They get those matchups on the top of the key with space, and they're able to kind of get to those gaps. Great take from Weston Todd, taking Smoothie right off the dribble to his left hand. He's got that hesitation rocker step down to sure a does. science. Yep, that's a good call. And you get Lemaire kind of reaching in from behind, a little nickel and dimer at the timeline. Hey, fans, nice game also brought to you in part by WRT. You can enjoy high-speed action, co-op cash from WRT or local broadband internet service provider. As always, our scoreboard tonight brought to you by BNC National Bank, locations in North Dakota, Minnesota, Arizona. BNC National Bank gives you wealth management and banking services for your business and family. BNC Bank, visit them online today at bnc.bank. Tough take there by Nisley is air banked. Yeah, it wasn't really in good balance there to take that shot, just kind of felt like he had to. Lob over the top, the diesel gets it. The diesel scores it, and the diesel is fouled. Jack Schaefer, great job. Nice pass there from the right wing. Get the high low, throw it to where nobody else can get it. Uh, Joey Kralik got caught in the front. Probably what he's supposed to be doing on the assignment. Just no, nobody was able to help on the backside. Kralik, the 6'3 sophomore, is on for century. Schaefer for the and one from the serve pro charity stripe. Couldn't get it. Bismarck High with their biggest lead of the contest. 32-16 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Demons on top by 16. Nisley open, wants from downtown, missed everything. Rebound yanked out of there by Aldinger. Or check that, that was Smoothie, I yep, beg your pardon. Yep. And he got a little bit of an arm grab there by the defense of the Demons, and that'll go against Quinn Afner. Big two minutes here. If, if somehow Century can find some offense and, and get this thing under 10 points going into halftime, it'll be a huge shot in the arm for them. But right now, they got some work to do. Schaefer gets the top cleared out for himself. Drives in and... Lemaire <laughs> picks up his second. Yeah, just really physical on the drive right now. Well, they're taking away time and space for Isaiah they Schaefer. Have no space for, for Schaefer right now. He's... He hasn't sniffed a clean look yet. Isaiah will trigger it in. Krolik comes near side to Aldinger. Aldinger in his pocket picked. Nice play there by Ross Fisher. Fisher back. Fisher launches. No good. Rebound tipped to Kempel. Much better rebounding effort there from the Patriots. Four guys in there trying to get that basketball. Kempel splits through the defense. Wide open, Aldinger. Oh. Corner three ball, no good. Good look there. Good job by Kempel breaking the press and finding an open shooter on the left side. Century with 16 points here in the first half. Oh, a nice play. Tipped it away from behind with Schaefer. Now he's got a little high school hideout. Drives in. Oh, return to sender. Rebound, put back. No good for oh. Smoody. Is that Scott that had that block? Or was yes, it? it was. Holy cow. And then he got back in to, to put the challenge on Smoody again. Like, what a play. Fisher with the left hand. No good. Kick out. Scott. Now he's driving. Missed the shot. Schaefer tried to save it. He couldn't do it. Saying he's out of bounds. What a play from Weston Scott. Holy cow, that was a high school, like you said, the leak out. Isaiah Schaefer, one of the best scorers in the state, has a wide open lay it. Freshman takes it away and then also challenges the next shot. 
What a play from uh, Weston Scott. And I, and I think uh, Preston Lamar was down there too. But wow, what, what effort from Bismarck High is getting right now uh, some individuals. I would love to give you a Ryan family dealership replay of that one. But <laughs> happened too fast, probably. I, uh, I, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> and I know that I hit the wrong button. And it makes you sad. And it makes me sad. <laughs> Just like that turnover makes the Century Patriots sad. Under a minute to play first half. Stay tuned. Our Magic Towing halftime report comes up next. Bismarck has doubled up Century here. Austin, oh, wide open. Carter Hankey, nope. Back iron. Schomer rebounds for Century. Back come the Patriots. Schaefer in attack mode and on the way in, a little riding time there on the Demons. A good take there from Schaefer, just getting his head down, getting downhill. And kind of the difference between the first 15 minutes and the last five, the reason they're not in the bonus is they're, they're getting a little more aggressive to the rim, not settling for three-pointers and able to, to kind of rack up that bonus. And unfortunately, they're not going to take advantage of it this half. Hafner comes off with his second personal. Lutzen replaces him. Kempel slings a left-handed reversal to Smoody. Back to Kempel. Century, about a one-second differential in the shot clock, game clock here left in the first half. A little Good pick pass. and roll. There's a pass. It's a nice find there by Drew Kempel. Gets it to Schomer. Love the energy of Schomer right now. He's probably the one big man that can, can give some length and give the athleticism that they need to, to match Bismarck High. Swanson to end the first half. Short. Schaefer rebounds, powers it back up, missed it, tip, oh, no good. A lot of contact there from a lot of people, but let it play, move on. That's the way the first 18 minutes will go into the books. Bismarck High impressive, they lead by 14, and we'll come back with our magic towing halftime activities. BNC Bank scoreboard at the break in this WDA Boys Basketball Contest from Carl Guard Gymnasium tonight. Bismarck 32, Century 18, and our halftime activities are up next here on the PSP Network. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... PSP Network. It's game day. When facing disaster, it's not just the things we lose, but the memories. But there's hope. SurfPro, with decades of experience in Minot and Bismarck, is always ready. Our certified professionals don't just restore homes, they rebuild lives. Because to us, you're not just a client, you're family. Shields Visa is more than just a card. It's the freedom to go. It's a gateway to explore and do more of what you love. Imagine where the Shields Visa can take you. 
So join us in discovering endless possibilities. Shields Visa. Together, we've got this. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic Towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. Now we're back at halftime, and hey, there you get a look inside the Demon's locker room and their weight room. Demon pride on the wall. This was earlier this afternoon. You know, I saw some kids from the wrestling team in there lifting weights a couple days after their state championship. Well, that's how you get better, right? Dang right. <laughs> Don't take days off. And the demons live in this place. This is one of the nicest weight rooms you find right behind our vantage point here. You think Jack Shaker spends any time in there? <laughs> yeah, I think he has. I think they probably had to buy a few more uh, plates for him to use in a bar that can handle a little more weight. Yeah, you had the, you had the cross-country teams, the track teams in there lifting today. You had the wrestlers. You had the football players. It's quite a scene today from earlier here at Bismarck High School. So su success is not a mistake. Yeah, exactly. It, it's, uh, it comes with a lot of hard work. And I uh, always said the luckier you get, the harder you worked. It's our Magic Towing intermission report. You blow it, they'll tow it. No job too big or too small. Magic Towing, put this number in your phone right now, 701-509-4011. Magic Towing, serving Western North Dakota. Bismarck got out early, and they got out strong. They jumping on top, nine zip against Century. Century kind of righted the ship there early on, but man, that was just good activity for the first 18 minutes if you're a Demon fan. Uh, yeah, I think you're up 14 points right now on, on Century, and you only made two three-pointers in the whole first half. I think that's, uh, it just shows that Century has different ways to, to, to beat you, right, and, and to, to build leads. The crazy thing is I actually, I actually really think Century played pretty good on the defensive end. I thought they closed out. They really handled the three-pointers. They did a good job on a lot of things. Missed some offensive rebounds. That's going to happen. There's guy. I mean, the way Bismarck High plays, you're not going to get them all. Um, I just think they have to be disappointed in how they, they performed offensively, especially the first eight to, eight to ten minutes. They were just putting up a lot of three-point attempts um, and really didn't, didn't uh, take advantage of the pressure that the Bismarck High get, you know, cut, back cut, drive to the gap, get fouled. Really just didn't take advantage of any of that stuff and, and didn't build up the bonus at all. So I think you saw a little bit more of that in the last five minutes, and hopefully when they come out in the second half here, they can figure out a way to get there a little bit better. All right, Joe, we'll get to our highlights in just a second here, but let's run through those first-half numbers brought to you, as always, by Magic Towing. Chuck, Chuck you gonna, Claremont. You're going to do the numbers, man? Yeah, Chuck Claremont just told me Luke Doctor is going to Minnesota Moorhead. Oh, beautiful. I, he knows. Yeah. He always knows. Yeah, I knew he signed somewhere. I saw it on the paper the other day. So here are your numbers from the first half. The Patriots scored 18 points. They're led in scoring seven points from Gibby Kinnebrew. He also picked up his third foul pretty early there in the, in the first half. Uh, see when Gibby uh, sees his appearance in the second half here. Four points from Kale Schomer. Three points from Garrett Nestle, a three-pointer on the left wing. Uh, two from Drew Kempel, both from the free throw line. And two for Isaiah Schaefer, really quiet first half. He was only able to get the one right-handed runner. Uh, for the Demons, 32 points. They were led in scoring. Eight points from Andre Austin and eight points from Weston Scott. Weston did a bunch of his damage from the free throw line. Four from Preston Lemaire. Four for Jack Schaefer. We have three, a three-pointer from Grady Swanson. Three, a three-pointer from Ross Fisher. And two from Carson Hankey for a total of uh 32 points, only, like I said, only two three-pointers there in the first half. Completely different story than the three-point barrage they put on um, about the century the last time. Bismarck High led by the eight of Austin and the eight of Western Scott. Century led by the seven of Gibby Kennebrew. Here's your Ryan family dealership halftime highlights as you get a couple looks at some interesting plays here as first off, you're going to get a little drive and a glide here by the freshman Weston Scott. I mean, this guy, watch this little shake and bake. Whoop. Round the defense, finish with the left hand. Yeah, and you're going to get one of the two made threes here in the first half. Just good transition basketball. Grady Swanson get the puppy set and knock down a three. And then the last one, I tell you what, you can't have a halftime highlight without having the diesel <laughs> going to <laughs> work on, people off on of the glass for the and one. There's your... To, to go back to that three-pointer, Todd, and I, I say it all the time, inside-out threes, inside-out threes. And 
and you were a great three-point shooter, but how do you learn how to be a good three-point shooter, right? Your dad stands in the, in the middle of the basketball court and he throws you inside out threes, inside out threes, inside out threes. Like, that's how you become a great shooter. It's not dribbling into them or it's not catching them. It's inside out threes. In that possession you saw there, Andre Austin gets downhill in transition, kicks it to the, the left wing. That guy gets downhill right to the top of the key and kicks it out inside out three, right? Just like your dad threw it to you a hundred times and, and or mom or whoever's throwing your passes, big brother, whoever's doing it. Those are the easiest shots to make because they're just such rhythm. It's the shot you've shot a hundred times in your career. You know, our colleague Chuck Claremont told us that Luke Doctor going to MSU. Yeah, it's on the sheet. And it's on the sheet, man. Yeah, we Look probably could have just read yeah, the we sheet. It's just dark up here. It is. It it's is dark, dark up here. here. It's dark thanks, up here. Thanks to Magic Tone for bringing your halftime hey, report. Chuck, I only bring a pen. I don't read the sheets. <laughs> you know this. You know this. If you blow it, they'll tow it. Magic Towing, 701-509-4011. Magic Towing brings you our halftime report and all of our PSP network broadcasts. Bismarck 32, Century 18 at the break. Second half action comes up next here on the PSP network your business or your home, across the town or across the country. We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Every 10 minutes, three people in the United States will die from a preventable incident. More people are dying on our roadways and in their homes than ever before. But that's where the North Dakota Safety Council can help. Safety is our mission from the workplace to any place. We're a private nonprofit that offers more than 150 training courses that are dynamic, hands-on, and effective. From CPR and first aid to driver safety and even workplace violence preparedness, we want to make sure your loved ones come home safe each night. Go to ndsc.org to see how together we can make a difference. It's Tundra Month at Cedric Field Toyota. With more than 30 new Tundras to choose from, starting under $50,000, there's a Tundra to fit every lifestyle. Built in Texas and sold right here in Bismarck, North Dakota, the Tundra is more than just a truck. It's an experience. Step inside to discover comfort and cutting-edge technology with the very best safety features. From the rugged SR5 to the luxurious capstone, there is a Tundra for every adventure. Just off I-94 is exit 161 in Bismarck. Cedric Field Toyota. Let's go places. Ah, interesting start there as yeah. the coaches aren't even on the bench yet for a century, a little late out of the locker room. A.J. Spears says, Coach Matters not watching. I'm launching up a three. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it looked like Casey Burt, the referee, may have given a delay of game warning for it, but that was all that was, and that's all that probably should. I'm guessing that, I'm guessing there was a little confusion on who told who when there's two-minute warning, which is always a graceful thing to do. Isaiah Schaefer trying to get going here in the second half. Nice take there from Isaiah, getting right to the rim, figuring out a lot of way to get himself in a little bit of a rhythm. He's got four in the game, and that's a 12-point lead here starting the second half. Bismarck High wants a three for Lemaire, top of the key. That's a good block out there by Century. Yeah. Set these lineups here as you get a reach-in foul on Bismarck High. As Bismarck High has Quinn Hafner, Preston Lemaire, Carter Henke, Andre Austin, Jack Schaefer out there. You get Ross Fisher and Ty Lutzen in immediately. Oliver Jensen. A.J. Spears, Drew Campbell, Isaiah Schaefer, and Garrett Kinnebrew out there for... Garrett Nisley. I I'm sorry, Garrett Nisley, thank you. As A.J. Spears... Well, that's a turnover. Yeah, I tossed it from one end to the other. Hey, fans, nice game brought to you in part by Minot State. Best way to predict your future is to create it. 96% of recent grads continuing their education or getting jobs. Minot State grads get jobs, period. Oh boy. Jack Schaefer got the switch to Kempel. I think I'd figure out a way to get him the ball right now. Fisher, shake and bake from the top. Andre Austin, Hanky, extra pass Fisher. Bismarck High oh. with 10 to shoot. Austin. Up the fluorescent yellows. Oh, and his pocket pick by Garrett Nisley. Great defensive effort there from Century to see if they can pay off. Nisley shot faking, leaves it for Jensen, trailing and Great. banging home a three. Inside out three, good job there. Great defensive effort. Good job from Nisley getting the steal and then finding the open three-point shooter. Now on the other end, 
It was Tyler Lutz. Ty Lutzen from downtown. Yeah, I can't sleep, can't enjoy your makes too long. They're gonna come get you. Team's trade made threes. Now a double team at the timeline. Campbell rifles it, tic-tac-toe. Spears blocked, but Austin got a piece of the arm. Yeah. Great pass from Garrett Nisley, threading the, threading the needle there a little bit, and, and Spears catches it, goes, gives a little shot fake, maybe could have gone up right away and, and been able to get it on the glass, but still able to get the foul. And to the serve pro charity stripe goes the senior, Ajura Spears. Misfires on the first one, goes by AJ. Got the start tonight, hasn't scored yet for Century as AJ lines up the second. Serve Pro brings you our free throws tonight. 24 by 7 emergency service, advanced technology. It's Serve Pro. One for two for Spears. Hanky's defender fell down. I don't think he actually knew it as handoff goes to Lutzen. And there's Andre Austin doing his thing. He's just a jackknife in there. He switches his body around a few times and able to, to get himself into an angle to get it on the glass. He can contort oh, man. an angle and finish with the best of them. Kempel got into the painted area. One of the North Dakota high school highlights of my, my career is, as a fan was watching his dad do that same thing at Standing Rock in the state title <laughs> game. <laughs> yes, indeed. Schaefer with the quick trigger, tickled the nylon, but that'll fly out of bounds to Bismarck High. Get a line change for the Demons. We can tell you that tonight's game brought to you in part by Planet Pizza. Mouth and belly will thank you. You can call them now at 701-852-1700. Planet Pizza serving the Magic City for over 25 years. Ooh. Lemaire with the corner three ball. That's off. A lot better focus on defensive rebound coming out of halftime so far for the, the Patriots. And a good job so far. Jensen tries to step through Ooh. the double team. Gets it off to Spears. Now back to Kempel. <laughs> Coach Mattern. Is having a conversation with Casey Berg over there, and now you get somebody dislodging somebody down yeah. low, and I think that whistle's going against AJ yeah, Spears. Yeah, going on AJ on a moving screen. He wants the he wants the contact on the pivot, but you're gonna get the contact on the screen instead. Yeah, remember, Bismarck High defeated Century 101 to 63 the last two times. Last time that these two teams played, completely different pace and style so far in this one. This is more of a bang them out, punch them in the face game. Inside out, Swanson penetrating off the shot fake. Teardrop didn't drew 10. Didn't draw 10. My English teacher would not like that conversation <laughs> right there. Is there's a conversation. Mm. Isaiah Schaefer banging home a three. Love seeing them get out in transition, find Schaefer in transition where he has a little bit of freedom. Sentry has trimmed this to a 10 point demon lead. Austin tried to back his way in. Nisley was going, check that, Kinnebrew was, or yeah, Nisley. those Nisley yep. going for the steal. Missed three by the Demons. And back comes Sentry. They're going to reach in there on the Lemaire. Love the pace right now. Sentry's come out with, they're, they're the aggressor right now. They seem to have caught Bismarck High in a little bit of a lull. Well, if we tried to announce every substitution that came in this game, we would be blue in the face. Paid by the word, Nick. We want to be paid by the word. <laughs> Lob over the top, Kempel, nice setup, and he is hit. Great find there from uh, from Jensen, Alia Jensen on the on the side out, able to get Kempel on the high low. Kempel using his his size and his uh, basketball head play there on the Scott on Weston Scott. Kempel will go to the serve pro charity stripe off the foul by Weston Scott, and Drew Kempel buries the first. Great job from Sentry coming on, punching first, getting this thing under nine point, under, under, under 10, getting almost eight here if they can make this. Second one is also good. We got uh, a foul. Oh, we might have a technical. Oh, well, that's going to go on Garrett Nisley. Nisley picks up his first. Try to get away with something that he didn't get away with. Yeah. Down to an eight point lead. Sentry. Digging into this halftime lead of the Demons. Backdoor cut. Swanson air banked it. I really like Schomer in there. Great job of being vertical and contesting that and then coming out of there with the rebound. Just square up now and find somebody. There you go. Gets it off to Kempel. Kempel euroing and so oh, he missed it. Weston Scott rebounds. Quick outlet to Swanson. Tracks it down. 
Bismarck High quickly back. Love the take by Kempel there. Just wasn't able to finish the left-handed layup. Scott floats in. No good. Yep. Doctor dislodges, and we're going the other way. Schomer's been great out there, man. He's got great energy, flying around, trying to get rebounds. Uh, his athleticism, his activity has really, really been big for Century so far. Gibson Kinnebrew is seat belted with three fouls in that first half, and he'll come back in for his first action here in the second half, along with Jenner Smoody. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Madden said, hey, man, we don't need you to do everything. We don't need you to block every shot. Just need you to be solid. We're down eight here, brand new ball game. Demons led by 14 at halftime. Century is trimmed into that, and now it's an eight-point game. 37-29, Bismarck on top with 13-20 to play in the game on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Nice take. Kemp, oh, oh, couldn't finish it. Good job. There's Schomer again. Extra pass, Smoody. Now the driving, scoop oh. layup, no good. Rebound, Schomer. Schomer gets up, oh. and that was blocked. <laughs> great job from Bismarck High there. Just keep contesting, keep fighting, keep battling. Some great looks from the Patriots. They're still going to be able to finish. And now you get Andre Austin spinning and contorting again on the other end, and this time he is hit and draws fouls. That's a little bit of a, probably a frustration from Schomer. Wasn't in good position. Gets the foul there. Just probably more upset himself while missing the layup. Well, Century had one, two, three cracks at it. Oh, yeah, they did. Temple's had a couple looks now. Smoody had a look at a layup. Doesn't it feel like any time Century kind of makes a run, Andre Austin figures out a way to score? Uh, I mean, it's just like he's got 10, and I feel like, or 11 now, I feel like every one of them's come after a Century basket. Are, like you, he's, are you saying we should give him the, the, <laughs> the nickname of the answer? He's, he's got a lot of the answers right now for them. And we're going to go foul on who? Uh, it's going to go on Bismarck High, I yeah, believe. Yeah, Fisher, I think. Yep. Picks up his first. Well, that's one of the things about Bismarck High. You don't ever think that they're going to be in foul trouble. So, yeah, well, <laughs> Century, Century right now is fighting back. And so when you're, when you're both being aggressive, then you're going to see those fouls. The, in the first half, I thought they were just so timid. You're not going to foul a timid player. You're going to foul a guy going, you know, going at the rim. Smoody from downtown missed everything. And the rebound goes off of Austin as Schomer was banging on that offensive glass. Jenner just needs to settle down. He just needs to do what he can do. He's played a lot of basketball. Just calm down, knock that thing down. Of Aaron Wald, Anthony Vetter run the cameras for us tonight on the PSP Network. Todd Domrich, Joe Cattell, the coach, joining in tonight. From Carl Guard Gymnasium, Isaiah Schaefer finishes one. Kim in Eden Fridley, be any similar? I mean, those two just don't get a, an ounce of space and still able to find ways to score. Weston Scott can change directions. Jack Schaefer missed it. There's Schomer again. Verticality of Schomer on the defensive glass. Now he flies into the front court. And he went nowhere as he ran into the brick wall named Jack Schaefer. But before he got there, you're going to get Ross Fisher a little reach in. And they're already in the bonus, right? They've only shot maybe two threes in the, maybe one even. I think Isaiah took a, a tough one. I think that's the only three they've taken this half. And look at the difference. Already in the bonus, already really getting downhill. Got a little momentum here. Schomer's unorthodox about it, but man, does he, he's, he's gotten some things done. Schomer misfires on a bonus free toss from the serve pro charity stripe, however. Being in the bonus now for the next 12 minutes is huge. Tip pass. Austin trying to get it to Schaefer. Taken away by Sentry. Back comes Gibson Kinnebrew. Nope, that was wide right. Rebound dug out of there by Smooty. Second chance for the Patriots. Under 12 minutes to play, Sentry has cut this halftime lead in half. 14 points at the break, and now it's down to seven. Schaefer with the shake, bake, fade, nope, short. Now Weston Scott is a quick jumper. <laughs> he is a good-looking freshman, man. These guys, are, these guys are far beyond their years, that is for sure. Austin picks up the bounce, gives it off to Schaefer. He hot potatoes it right back to Austin, and Andre lobs it over the top. Schaefer yeah. shuffle the puppies. Yeah, it was either going to be that or a push off on Schaefer. He was straight armed on Gibby Kinnebrew there. But I remember having a conversation with Nick, uh, Nick, our, our guy at the uh, from PSP last night at, or last year at the state tournament. When are we ever going to see another Derek Desset? This guy, da 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 da. Well, here's Gibby Kinnebrew. <laughs> There's Weston Scott, <laughs> and I've seen a couple of mine and high guys that look just like like it doesn't take long to find the next guy, does it? Oh, and now you get a back to back shuffle the puppies. Yeah, we are, um, we are lucky to be able to promote these local athletes. They it's just unbelievable. keep coming in bunches. And they're and they putting in more time than ever before, and they are definitely 
Definitely getting better. That was an interesting delivery there by Andre Austin. Yeah, Smoody try, or Schomer tried to take a charge. wasn't a wasn't a great attempt at it, and ended up just laying on the floor and getting a rebound somehow. And then you get a one-two-three car pile up, and it'll be Bismarck High basketball on the alternating arrow. Seven-point lead for the Demons on your BNC Bank scoreboard. 38-31, 11-15 to play in the contest. Bismarck will safety valve it into Carter Hankey. From the high left side, Sentry switching it, and here comes Andre Austin. Leaning in, off the back 10. And now Austin went over the back, as there's that guy again, Kale Schomer. Yeah, he's gonna have to start making some free throws because he's gonna get there a lot tonight if he keeps rebounding like that. He, he has been a absolute machine. Um, I, I actually, I thought he was pretty good in the first half too, but second half, he's, he's got a new spark, a new nuance of life to him. Now we'll see if uh, he can get rewarded with a made free toss here. He'll be shooting the bonus. That's eight team fouls on the Demons. You can see those fouls on the bottom of that BNC Bank scoreboard on your live stream screen. Hope he didn't have any plans tonight because we might be at this free throw line for a while today. Shamer, or Schomer can't convert. He's missed two front ends of bonus with his team down by seven. Feels like a turnover when you miss a front end, doesn't it? Like oh, It yeah. just feels like a, missed, a huge missed opportunity. It could be a three-point game right now. Just an empty trip. Carter Henke pressing the issue. Good defense from Smoody. Luke Doctor, Ross Fisher, pull up baseline jumper, short, rebound, tipped a couple times to Isaiah Schaefer. Schaefer flies wow. in and wow. scores. Tough take, good, good all around play from Isaiah Schaefer from coast to coast. Going back, Isaiah Schaefer had a great close out there in Fisher. He absolutely blitzed him, chasing him off the line, forcing him to, if you're going to make it, it's got to be a long two. Just a great assignment to close out there from Isaiah Schaefer on the other end. Isaiah Schaefer picks up a personal foul on the other end. That's his first. Sentry, however, is within five. Yeah, it feels like a whole new ball game. Yeah. Bismarck High with just six points here in the first seven minutes of the second half. And, oh, there's a put back on the rebound, and Luke Doctor finishes it. Yeah, Schomer's getting a little tired, wasn't able to hold him off that time. Fresh, you know, he was going against Jack, bringing a fresh body in Luke Schaefer, and, or Luke uh, Doctor, and wasn't able to keep him off the glass there. Oh, well, now the, the whistles are evening out here in the second half as Luke Doctor got caught with his hand caught in the cookie jar there, and as you said, don't make any plans <laughs> later tonight. Is we might be here for a while. Sorry, honey. I'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh, but it, it, and you said a minute ago, like the whistles are starting to even out. It's it's all about the way Century's playing. They're just they're getting downhill. They're forcing they're forcing the whistle a little bit instead of just sitting back on their heels like they were early in the game. It felt like every pass was on their their back heels and every every shot was a long jump shot that was rushed. Now they're they're downhill. They're attacking the press. They're attacking the rim. They're forcing the whistle. They're forcing the demons to, to guard a little bit longer in possessions. Gibby Cannonbrew knocks them both down from the Serve Pro charity stripe. 24 by 7 emergency service. It's Serve Pro. Sentry has trimmed this thing to 5. 40 to 35 on your BNC Bank scoreboard. Demons lead by 5, under 10 to play. It's not a zone, but it might as well be. They're just keeping their best defenders in the middle and just switching all that stuff. Demons kind of going the dribble handoff game. Sentry just switching everything. Scott, handoff Lutz, and sets it up. Couldn't knock it down. <sighs> Got to have that one. Weak side board to Carson Henke. Great rebound by Henke. Lutzen, hesitation dribble drive. Henke likes the mid-range. Oh, return to sender. <laughs> Weston Scott with the answer. <laughs> Tenth point for Weston Scott, first of the second half there. What a great play. Gibby gets the block. Weston stays with it and ends up with a nice, nice layup there. Bismarck High gets that pressure turned up instantaneously. Middle of the court to Schomer. Now to Kempel. Extra pass. Nisley steps in. Good convergence and hustle by the Demons, but then Drew Kempel in attack mode is knocked to the court, and that'll send Sentry right back to the serve pro free throw line. We can tell you that tonight's game brought to you in part by Press Switch Orthodontics. Specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. 0% financing, free consultations. You can check them out at MinotBraces.com. Nice job from Nisley and Campbell. Neither one of them settling for the jump shot. Both putting pressure on the rim and figuring out a way to get to the line again. 
Kempel with his third and fourth free throws here in the second half. And five points off from the line for Drew Kempel tonight. And the second one splashes that one down as well. Night's game also brought to you part by Roger Ward Moving and Storage. Check them out at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com to schedule a move or find a quote. They've been doing it since 1942. Night's game also brought to you part by the UPS store located on South Broadway in Minot. They're there for all your packing and shipping needs in the Marketplace Foods Plaza. Jack Schaefer in. Great upside there. Straight away, Quinn Hafner. Andre Austin on the weave. Slips and flips, no good. Schaefer rebounds, puts it up, and he's hit. You just, once he puts his 10 stakes down, you are not moving him. <laughs> he is a house. I think it's easier to move a mobile home than that guy. Like, that, that guy is a monster. Oh, the motorcycle and the motor drum spins around and goes down. Jack Schaefer is racking up the D1 football offers. As a Chief fan, I hope he protects uh, Mahomes' left side someday in, in the, the last years of Mahomes' contract. <laughs> He's gotten offers from NDSU, Kansas State, Notre Dame. And I know he spent an awful lot of time in a town named Madison as well. And we got a Ryan Family Dealership timeout on the court. Bismarck by seven with 8.31 to play in the game. BNC Bank scoreboard. Bismarck 44, Century 37. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's got to call a play. All right, let's go. High right, zoom. Spider 2, Y banana. You don't like that one, okay. I write 40 power. No. You don't want that one either? No. All right, go kick off. Get out of here, let's go. First Western is your independent community bank with all the online conveniences you want and an experienced team you can count on. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Big week of postseason basketball coming up for you on the PSP Network. Got a Region 4 Girls Championship on Thursday, the AB Division Girls Qualifiers on Saturday. Class B District Basketball starting in Minot on Friday as well. Century down by seven with a little over eight to play in the contest. And Schaefer lost the handle. Nice cross-court pass. Austin, yes! And a foul! Yeah, hand caught in the cookie jar there from Garen Nestle. Wasn't able to make a play on the ball, fouled. Andre just got strong hands up there and was able to finish his right-handed layup. Turnovers turn into points. Austin with his 12th of the game, looking for the old-fashioned three-point play. Couldn't get it. Oh, but Jensen was boxing out so hard that the ball went off of his thigh. And Bismarck High still up by nine. Now you get Spears on Austin. Inside out, Hafner, corner, three ball, ring it up. First three of the second half from the uh, Bismarck Demons, and they were able to have a, pretty much a five-point possession there from uh, Andre Austin's transition layup to that three-pointer. Back up to a 12-point lead. And now you get another reach in there on Ross Fisher. <laughs> they got to they just got to calm themselves down a little bit in the half court and, and not follow these guards and give them free opportunities. Yeah, Century's been in the double bonus for a while now. And they're going to send their senior Oliver Jensen the serve pro charity stripe. And he swishes the first. That's nice game also brought to you part by Minot State. 100 areas of study at MSU earned the career Earn the degree for the career you desire. 96% of their recent grads employed or continuing their education. MSU grads get jobs, period. Second one from the Serve Pro Charity Stripe. Book it. Jensen with all five of his points here in the second half. Makes it a 10-point lead for the Demons. Let's into the top. Lamar open. Nope. Short. Gibson Kinnebrew rebounds, and here comes Sentry. Kempel, Jensen, 
Leaves it for Spears. Great pass. A lot more intent to dribble on this second half for Century Patriots. When they dribble and they put it down, they're going somewhere. Century trims it to an eight point game. Approaching seven minutes to play in the contest. Open Lutzen, he can knock those down, couldn't do it. What Rebound effort. put back Lemaire. Oh, oh, he thought what, he got hit. What effort from Lemaire there to go track that ball down and get it back up on the glass. Bismarck High cranks up the pressure. Kempel, open, Jensen, Century needs it, and he buries it. Oliver Jensen in this second half now has six points. He's got, that's eight points for Oliver, two threes and that, and two free throws. He's just had a really good second half here so far. I think yeah. I missed one. I think he had, no, he passed it to Spears. Yeah, he had a layup though too, so. Yeah. Lemaire, attack mode, yes! Nice take from Lemaire, wow. These guys are throwing punches right now. Preston Lemaire with the answer. That's supposed to be Andre Austin's role. Yeah, right. <laughs> See if you can get your Ryan family dealership replay of this one as yeah, watch uh, Lemaire when he gets the basketball here on the reversal. He just puts it into, uh, here it comes as, yes, right there's the finish for Preston Lemaire. We missed his and one free throw as Lemaire knocks down the old fashioned three point play. Yeah, nice job from Lemaire there. That's back to back possessions that Lemaire just absolutely attacked the ball and was able to, to get the finish. Good effort from him. Thanks to Ryan Family Dealership for bringing that replay as Century now down by eight. After that three-point play, there's Schomer shot faking and scoring on the other end. That's some big time basketball plays being made right now on both ends. Still lots to be decided here with only a six-point game. Leaning in is Scott, he missed it. Century got a stop, can they turn it into points? Patriots in their road navies. Schomer stepping through, jump hooking, too strong. He had the one-on-one -on -one matchup, two feet from the hoop. Grady Swanson. Yeah, it's probably a good time out there. Yeah. Everything was a bit discombobulated, and you get a Ryan family dealership. Timeout on the courts, 5.45 to play in the contest. A good one brewing as Bismarck High on their home floor leads 52-46 on your BNC National Bank scoreboard. Getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estfold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estfold, trusted for decades and decades to come. In times of loss, SurfPro brings hope. With expertise in Minot and Bismarck, we don't just restore homes, we rebuild lives. Out of the Jordan Wilhelm timeout. New rule here from this year. Uh, basically, the timeout saved him from the coffin corner uh, throw in, too. He was able to get a better spot. They changed the high school rule this year, so he was able to get a little better spot for the en entrance. Let's see what Coach Wilhelm dials up out of the timeout. Weston Scott probing. Schaefer from the top. Handoff. Lane opens. Oh, shot blocked and returned to center for Jensen. Now Swanson lines it up. No. Rebound Weston Scott. The demons are relentless. Swanson, extra pass, Carson Hankey, no. Gibson Kinnebrew rebounds. Sentry again gets a stop. Play defense without fouling here for the next five minutes is huge for Bismarck High. Sentry over the timeline with about a second to spare. Gonna go a high screen and roll. Could we have a different game than the first time that they met? There, there's been no threes made on this one. I see a Schaefer blocked by Andre Austin. Now you get Austin in transition. He will go in and score. I like the no call there too. Oliver Jensen got out of the way. He was, he was thinking about taking a charge, but before the contact happened, he bailed. How about that offensive defensive play there by Andre Austin? Campbell from deep. Big Hello. play from Campbell. Big answer from Drew Campbell. 
and a Ryan Family Dealership timeout on the court. Let's see if we can get a Ryan Family Dealership replay here. How about this finish here by Andre Austin? After the block Oof. shot on the other end, the body control to finish that one. Avoid the charge and avoid the block from Gibby Kinnebrew. That's, that's a pretty impressive athletic play after getting the block from Andre Austin. Timeout on the floor. Bismarck 54, Century 49 with 4.33 to play in the contest. An injury can happen anywhere, at any time, to anyone. It's not really something you can schedule on your calendar. But when it happens to you and it's not your fault, there's one law firm to remember. That firm is Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. We live here and take pride in helping our community. We know this area inside and out. We put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you. That is what we're all about. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. To have you tuned into the PSP Network tonight. We like to promote local athletes. Like and follow us on our social media channels of Facebook and Twitter. Carter Hankey. Oh, just short. Bismarck High has got a lot of offensive boards yeah, tonight. A lot of misses, a lot of long rebounds they've been able to gather in. Second chance for the Demons. Ross Fisher had it poke checked away. Now with 15 to shoot, Austin wants to shake and bake from the top. Really Henke again. Oh, that one's short. Rebound wrapped out of bounds. Last touch by Hafner. Nice job there by Schaefer. Just keeping the ball in front of him, keeping the drive of Andre Austin in front of him. And Gibby was able to help and close out to the three all at the same time. Hey, fans, for over 50 years, Ryan's been a trusted name for car buyers in western North Dakota. Locations in Minot and Williston. Stop one of their locations, one of their five locations, or shop online at driveryan.com. Coach Matter just really stuck with this lineup for a while here with Jensen, Kinnebrew, Kempel, Schomer, and Schaefer. It's, it's really gone well for them so far. They're hedging everything and getting in Isaiah Schaefer's grill. Leaves it down low for Kempel. Extra pass, Kinnebrew. No, air banked it. Way too strong and a weak side rebound pulled out of there by Hanke. Quick return for the Demons. Andre Austin. Oh, he was jousted. There's going to be a foul there on Century. That's on Kinnebrew. That's going to be his fourth. Yep. I'm not sure if Gibby needed to come in there. Oliver Jensen looked like he was in pretty good position yeah. to maybe take a charge, and Gibby kind of bailed him out a little bit. Andre Austin Ooh. misfires. So that's three free throws in a row now. Andre is missed. Um, need, to, need to capitalize on these with three minutes to go. Because you know what's about to happen. It's about to go into the pressure cooker. It's about to. Not there yet. <laughs> There's rules. It's there are rules. It this is right on the cusp, folks. As the dude would say, this is there are rules. This is a nom. There are rules. Right on the cusp. Second one from the Serb Pro Charity Stripe settles in Knock for Austin. Six point game, three and a half to go. Century will bounce it in to Kinnebrew. Not a Jensen. And Kemp over the timeline. Attacking, leaves it for, uh, leaves Ooh, it for Kennebrew. A... He got undercut and a jump ball. That's an interesting, uh, interesting play. Yeah, the, the boo birds are out a little bit. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know which side's booing more. Yeah. I, Probably the demon side, right? A lot of things happen. Could have been travel, could have been a foul. <laughs> Not sure if there was ever two people with hands on the ball, but that's what it was called. Ooh, Schaefer, shot blocked by Austin. And now it's tied up. No, it's not tied up. Kinnebrew, score! Count it! Wow. A lot of things happened there. A lot of things happened there. I thought Schaefer got hit in the face on the first shot attempt. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't even know how did to put that, that in, replay. Put that in the words. I, I did get that replay, but uh, with a with a made free throw or a no subs coming in here, nothing. Really, don't got time to get no, to it. No, I'm is. just glad we have it so we can take a peek at it oh, later because yeah. that was a lot of things. It felt like two or three possible fouls. That the one they get is a guy laying on the floor because that is not legal guarding position. And Gibby was able to score over the top and get the and one. Nobody guards Andre Austin. Poor decision. Century had cut it to three off of the and one by Gibson Kinnebrew and Andre Austin answers. Five point game. That was not a good defensive set for no, the Century. Especially Patriots. after the momentum kind of switched. Drew Kempel Ooh. bounces it to Schaefer. I don't even think it was to him, and now they're tangled up. Schaefer, big boy. 
Dug it, it out of there. Not afraid to go to the ground and get the football or <laughs> get the basketball. That too. Lutzen! First on the floor usually wins the ball, equals a, a three on the other end. Jack Schaefer helps make that play happen. Dig out a steal and get a three. Big play there for the Demons. Sentry got it deep. Kempel from downtown. No, off the front 10. Schaefer rebounds. Lutzen did a good job of getting out of the way of Schaefer there. That was his basketball, nobody else's. Under two to play. Demons by eight, and you get a Ryan Family dealership. Time out on the court. Let's see if we can get your Ryan Family dealership replay here. As there's the takeaway, and it turns into a transaction. Good, good work there by Jack Schaefer. I yeah. tell you what. Kept and then, the knee on the ground. That's his pivot foot. That left yeah. knee ends up staying as his pivot foot. Now a huge shot upcoming here on a pass from Swanson. Lutzen got the puppy set and knocks it down. There's a Ryan family dealership replay. A little uh, un unnoticed thing there is Jack Schaefer ran the floor hard too. Ran right down the middle, draws some attention, forces the defense to pay attention to him, what leaves the corner open for a three. Specialized training, advanced technology. Nobody knows your vehicle better than the certified techs at Ryan family dealership. No matter what kind of vehicle you own, you can always trust your repairs to the folks at driveryan.com. Thanks also to BNC National Bank for bringing our scoreboard tonight. Locations in North Dakota, Minnesota, Arizona. BNC National Bank provides you with wealth management services and wealth management services for your business and family. You can visit them online at bnc.bank. A reminder, folks, uh, we got a lot of postseason basketball coming up, including the WDA basketball tournament. February 29th, March 1st, March 2nd, all 22 girls and boys games from the West Region Tournament live and direct on the PSP Network. All right, 148 to play in the contest. Oh, I beg your pardon, I uh, clicked the wrong uh, return button there. 148 to play in the contest. Bismarck leads 60 to 52. Your BNC Bank scoreboard and the Demons have possession. Out of the Coach Wilhelm timeout, both teams with two timeouts remaining. Those are those little dots on the bottom of your BNC scoreboard. Andre Austin looking to work. Stepping through the footwork, no good. A rebound. Kinnebrew yanks a rebound out of there. Headman pass to Kempel. Eyebrow fake, extra pass. Jensen, nope. Rebound, Schomer and Austin, and they're tied up, and the arrow will favor the Bismarck Demons. Oh, great effort there by, by Schomer, just giving them a chance at it. And Causes the jump ball and now gives them the next one. But big look there from Jensen, just wasn't able to, to complete it. They're going to face guard Andre Austin here, Chief. They can keep the ball out of his hands. Now the Demons might need to make a couple free tosses here as they're up by eight. Sentry hounding Jensen. Oh, is that a, a goal 10? I don't think so. Yeah. I think he tapped it off the glass. The zebra is going to have a little convention. I think he's the one that put it to the glass. Andre Austin. Oh, we're going to get the official indication. No, nope. yeah. basketball is on its I way up. I think that's the right call. No. Nope. I think it's hard. You don't. <laughs> you know, you do a lot of college games and you see that happen a lot. But all of a sudden, the guy does that in a high school game and it kind of catches you by surprise a little bit. But I think they got that right. And Andre Austin, boy, another big game uh, for him. And except it, for the it, line. It's, it is, it's kind of quiet, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. How does that happen where he's approaching a 20-point ball game again? Yeah, I think he's at 18 right now and, and would have had 20 if he knocked down a few yeah, that, you, you and I, you just read my mind there, partner. He'd have well over 20 if he'd cash him in here from the serve pro charity stripe with 110 to play. Austin missed them both. Empty, empty trip for the Demons. Big possession here. This could be the game. Give him a chance or not. Sentry's got to go. Schomer, handoff Kempel. Drives down the left side of the lane. Fires a pass to Jensen. Schomer gets a high screen. Extra pass Kempel. Shake and bake. Flies in. Shot fake. Schomer. Layup. Oh, he missed it. Rebound to Preston Lemaire. The Demons leading by eight still. And here. now Bismarck High is going to be fouled by Isaiah Schaefer. That might just about do it. As you're going to get Carter Henke. This might be Carter Henke's first points of the yeah, game. I, have, I, don't, I, was just, <laughs> I was just looking too. 
for a senior that's equaled a lot of victories for Bismarck High for him to for him to go scoreless this long, but he does so many other things, obviously. That's that's yeah, not the end all be all, but he was kind of shocking. A little cold from downtown tonight was yep. Carter Henke as he knocks down the first from the Sur Pro Charity Stripe and the second. And it's a 10 point game in favor of the Demons. Ryan Family Dealership, time out on the court. Bismarck 62, Century 52, the Demons looking for the sweep tonight with 42 seconds to play in our contest. Great news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. It's Tundra Month at Cedric Field Toyota. With more than 30 new Tundras to choose from, starting under $50,000, there's a Tundra to fit every lifestyle. Built in Texas and sold right here in Bismarck, North Dakota, the Tundra is more than just a truck. It's an experience. Step inside to discover comfort and cutting-edge technology with the very best safety features. From the rugged SR5 to the luxurious capstone, there is a Tundra for every adventure. Just off I-94 is exit 161 in Bismarck, Cedric Field Toyota. Let's go places. Number two, Bismarck High, looking to close this one out against number four, Century. Bismarck with a nice 15 and five overall record. Century 16 and four. Bismarck looks like they're going to do just enough tonight on their home floor against their rival, the Century Patriots. Centuries needs points. They need them in a hurry, and Kempel knocks down an 18 footer. Bismarck. Handling the basketball, Century extending pressure, and it's gonna be a give up foul there on a hand check. And with 28 seconds to play, Carter Henke will be right back at the Serb Pro Charity Stripe where he just knocked down a couple a moment ago. And there's the senior Henke, the Dickinson football commit. Rims off. Open Carter line. Henke misfires. Start you with two timeouts that able to stop the clock twice if they do get a chance to score. No good. Empty trip. Bismarck Century has got to go quick. Kempel floating in and he's fouled. Now the clock will stop with 23.5 seconds to play. And the Demons up by eight. A couple free throws here. That's a two possession game. Well, you don't want to open the door with some missed free throws here if you're Bismarck High. No doubt. Especially the Petrus have timeouts, like I said, they're able to stop the clock after scoring, which uh, is a huge benefit. They can't just run out the five seconds. Big second mm -hmm. half for Drew Kempel. Yeah, he's been good. He's been aggressive. He's been attacked the rim. He's created for others. He's created for himself. He's done a really nice job. Made the first. And played a ton of minutes. Second one, got them both. A ton of minutes at high tempo. Quickly inbounds to Rosh Fisher. And Gibson Kinneru just fouled out of the game. Sure did. But you got to do it. You got to play the foul game. And he is going to exit the night with nine points, seven of those coming in the first half. 21.7 seconds remaining. Stay tuned. Our planning team, financial advisor, Shots Crossroads, comes up next. Post game show comes up next. Shots Crossroads, your post game headquarters. You can order online at shotscrossroads.com. And planning team, financial advisors, helping clients work towards financial freedom. Ross Fisher, that's what you want your seniors to do, right, Coach? Yeah, for sure. Step up the line, knock it down with 20 seconds left. Stretch this thing right now to a three-possession game. And he swishes them both. And the Demons lead by eight. Campbell finishes it at the 10. Down to a six-point game. Clock running. Henke picks it up. Lemaire is going to be fouled by Campbell with nine seconds to play. Still a six-point game, but two possessions is a lot when you only have nine seconds remaining. And we mentioned our upcoming schedule. Of course, we've got Division B Region 4 Championship on Thursday night from Minot. As Preston Lemaire cans a free throw. Nice ball game for Lamaire. That's double figures for him. 
Second one, got them both. Back to an eight point game. Waning seconds as Kempel gets fouled there by Lemaire. Well, it hasn't been a lot of green flag runs here in the second half, as you, if you watched the Daytona 500 yesterday. There have been a few cautions in our contest, especially here in the second half, as Drew Kempel from the Serve Pro Charity Stripe is making some hay. Kempel has been to the Charity Stripe. This will be the eighth free toss here in the second half, and he has made seven of them. Back to a six point game, but just four seconds remaining, and you get a quick foul by the Patriots. Ross Fisher will walk to the other end. And we mentioned that upcoming postseason schedule. We've got Region 4 Division Girls B Basketball Championship on third place games on Thursday night from the Minot Auditorium. Of course, you get the AB Division State Qualifying Games from the Minot Auditorium on. Saturday where you get the two versus three seeds still trying to advance to their respective state tournaments and Then you get uh, class B division or class B District basketball on Friday night as Ross Fisher Cans them both he made four straight here down the stretch And that's the way the contest will go into the books Final score on your BNC Bank scoreboard Bismarck 68 Century 60. The Demons sweep the season series against the Century Patriots. Bismarck High improves to 16 and 5. They will likely still be the number two team in the state when the new poll comes out in a couple days. The final poll comes out in a couple days. Century falls to 16 and 5. Welcome you to our planning team financial advisor, Shots Crossroads post game show. Order online at shotscrossroads.com and planning team financial advisors helping clients work towards financial freedom. The coach, Joe Cattell, has made his way down courtside and get a word with head coach Jordan Wilhelm and some of the particulars here as the Demons get the sweep tonight on their home floor here at Carl Gard Gymnasium. Looks like coach getting everybody lined up. All right, let's send it down courtside to Joe Cattell. People on the floor excited about that Bismarck High victory. Andre Austin had like 19 points tonight, I think maybe 20. Talk a little bit about what it was like to get this victory night season sweep on Century. You've locked in second in the WDA. Just talk a little bit about what it took to get this win tonight. You know, a lot of teamwork. We've been in the gym a lot more this year than past years. Everyone's working together, working hard. Team's playing a lot better together, so it just looks good when we're all working together like that. Talk about the first time. The first time you guys played Century, you beat them kind of hands down, made a ton of threes. You felt like you guys had that thing won from the moment you stepped on the court. Tonight, a different story. A lot more physical game, a lot more scoring around the rim at the free throw line. Just talk about a little bit about the different ways you guys were able to figure it out tonight. Yeah, a little bit later in the year, seems going to be more locked in, knowing what we're going to do. So shots aren't always going to fall. Shots didn't fall tonight, but, you know, it's, it's dubs like this that we need going into the tournament. Everyone's working hard. We're playing great defense, working hard, diving for balls. It's a good win. That's what I need. It'd be hard for me not to ask about seniors on senior night. Talk a little bit about the guys you've been playing with, what they've meant to you, and what they've meant to the Demons. Yeah, I've been with all these guys since I was freshman, so I feel like I've kind of grown up with them. So, you know, I love all my guys. They all work hard. Um, they, 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 they change a lot in BHS, like, especially with football, too, bringing us back. And, they all work hard, and I love them to death. So. Awesome, man. Andre, congratulations. Enjoy this for a little bit, and we'll see you next week at the WDA. Thank you. Coach Wilhelm? Which, which Coach Wilhelm are we interviewing here? Yeah, we'll see. We'll get them both, maybe? Awesome. Well, Coach, just want to congratulate you. Heck of a season. That's 12 wins in a row. That's pretty That's pretty hard to do. Uh, and the season sweep over Century. You have locked in number two in the WDA. Just talk a little bit about what tonight meant. Talk a little bit about what these last two months have meant to your guys' roster. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite the run after starting one and four, being able to bounce back and keep believing and keep trusting. Um, tonight's win was a gritty win. It was a kind of a weird game. We played awesome in the first half. The way we shared the basketball, the way we defended, holding Schaefer to two points in the first half, our attention to detail. Second half got a little bit squirrely. Uh, they sat in the zone, and then there were other times they weren't zoned and went man, and obviously he was trying to keep us on our toes, which is a good move by Coach Mattern. Um, and we didn't shoot the ball you know, real well tonight. We had a lot of great looks. Huge shot from Ty Lutzen in that corner, but 
um, overall, I mean, yeah, we're on a roll right now, so we want to keep it moving towards March. Yeah, I was just going to say, you guys have, I mean, you, you had you had Eagle Staff. You've lost Eagle Staff. Don't skip a beat. You score a bunch of threes, and when the first time you play them, only had two or three, maybe four tonight, yep. and you, you went a completely different way. I mean, just talk a little bit about the resiliency, senior leadership, whatever, whatever you got. How, how have you been able to figure out these different ways to win? Well, honestly, it's, it's at practice the way our guys are bought in and how hard they work, and, and when we teach them something, when we go over things at practice, we see it executed in the game. Same thing from drill to drill. You want your guys moving things from drill to drill, and we're seeing those things, and we're finding different ways to win and win close games. We go out to Dickinson last week, we're down the, the entire game, um, didn't play extremely well. They played a 2-3 zone against us as well, and then just found a way to get it down, uh, down the stretch, and ultimately, it's a testament to our seniors, and it just brings me back to it being senior night tonight and how proud I am of this group and the effort and the work that they've put in over the last four years, the trust, the buy-in, the belief, um, and that's how you win games like that, whether you're at home, on the road, and, or on the stage next week. Um, you do it with seniors. I'm going to repeat what I told Coach Shetler. Been here, I've coached a lot of time. You don't play for 10 days. Please enjoy this for a couple days, especially with these two little rug rats. 12 wins is hard to do. Getting second in the WDA is hard to do. Yep. Enjoy this one a little bit, all right? Is it, is it second? Second. Second. All right, <laughs> all right man, have a good one. Back to you. Yeah, good job down the sideline there. Uh, coach Cattell, as you heard from the ninth year head coach, Jordan Wilhelm, a happy uh, crew there for the Bismarck Demons tonight as Bismarck High, you also heard from Andre Austin. We'll talk about him in a moment here as our planning team, financial advisors, Shots Crossroads postgame show rolls on from Carl Gard Gymnasium. A final score on your BNC National Bank scoreboard. It's a demon sweep tonight. Bismarck High in the boys game wins this one 68-60 over the Century Patriots. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... PSP Network. It's game day. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial. Member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads.
Oh, that's not the right score. We'll get that figured out. That was the final score from the ladies game. There we go. Bismarck High victorious in the boys contest, 68-60. Demons solidify that number two ranking and they improve to 16 and five on the season. Century falls to 16 and five, two teams with even records. One will be the two seed, that'll be the Demons in the upcoming WDA tournament. One will be the three seed, that's the Century Patriots in the upcoming tournament. It was welcome you back to our planning team, financial advisor, Shots Crossroads post game show. Visit them online at planningteam.com. Planning Team Financial Advisors here to help you work towards achieving your financial goals. Whether you're looking for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors can help you out. And Shots Crossroads get filled up in their delicious menu that includes the famous 99 order online at shotscrossroads.com. Team buses are always welcome. All right, we've got highlights coming, but first, Joe, let's run through those final game numbers, numbers brought to you by Planning Team and Shots Crossroads. Oh, thanks. I'm back. From the Century Patriots, they scored six, 60 points tonight. They were led in scoring by Drew Kempel, 17. They had 12 from Gibby Kinnebrew, 11 from Isaiah Schaefer, 6 from Kale Schomer, 8 from Oliver Jensen, and Jensen, 3 from Garrett Nisley, and 3 from A.J. Spears for a total of 60 points. For the Bismarck High Demons, they had a monster people in the, in the score column. I think 11 guys played, 10 scored. Uh, they were led in scoring 18 from Andre Austin, 10 from Weston Scott, eight of those coming in the first half. We got six for Jack Schaefer, two from Luke Doctor, seven from Ross Fisher, two for Carson Hankey, uh, nine from Preston Lamar, two from Carter Hankey, four from Quinn Hafner, and six from Ty Lutzen, including two big three-pointers in the second half. Uh, only five three-pointers made tonight from Bismarck High. Learned how to way or figured out a way to, to win a different way than from behind the arc. And there's your numbers brought to you by Planning Team, Financial Advisors, and Shots Crossroads. All right, Joe, a couple particulars we got to take care of here. First off, let's bring you some Ryan Family Dealership highlights from that second half as uh, there's some good stuff, good action here tonight as uh, this play here. Andre Austin gets in there, kicks out corner three ball. Quinn Hafner, the seniors came to play tonight for the Bismarck Demons. And then this play here by Preston Lemaire. I tell you what, the and one finish here after you get a couple ball rotations. Lemaire's up on the top side of the screen. Watch when he gets this kick out from Andre Austin. And now he comes downhill. Yeah. How about that finish right there? And that was right after he really made a great play and just missed a kind of a an offensive rebound type layup, but he doesn't care. He just puts his head down and does it again the next <laughs> play. And uh, just a really Really cool. I mean, 10 guys in the scoring column. Only one really that, you know, kind of showed, you know, obviously Andre gets his when he gets his. He's a, he's a really good, talented scorer, and they need him to do that. But just 10 guys unselfishly figuring out a way to win a basketball game tonight. Um, just really impressed by what Bismarck High has going on right now. Yeah, they, they are... They, I, they are clicking right now. Like I, I, I know, I, I know ratings are just rankings, but I don't understand how a team wins 12 games, beats the number one team in the state, <laughs> and is number two in the state. I know it, it might sound like a Bismarck Homer here or something like that, but I just, I don't understand how how Bismarck High. Nobody's playing better than them right now, and they've beaten everybody you put in front of them. And uh, tip the tip of the hat. Not that it matters at all, right? No. It won't matter at all. You, you're going to be second in the WDA and go figure it out, but. Uh, the way they've been playing the last two months is, is outstanding. Starting off 1-4 and, and and figuring out a way to rattle off 12 in a row at the end of the season. Hats off. Demons victorious by 8 tonight. couple things left to take care of. First off, it's our move of the game. Oh, let me uh, go back to that. It's our move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. They can help you move across town or across the country. Coach Wilhelm even set the stage for this one. That's, that's called a Lots tease. It. It's called a tease <laughs> in the business, folks. He did. I smiled a little bit when he said it. Too, this, was, this was a big play late in the contest, uh, delivered first by the takeaway yeah, and time. the dig out here by Jack Schaefer. Yeah, time and score is five minutes, two and a half to go. That's pressure cooker time. Schaefer doesn't get off his knee, avoids the travel, and then it turns into a transition basket here. You get the extra pass from Grady Swanson. To a wide open uh, Ty Lutzen. I want you to run that one more time for me. We got time, don't we? Yep. Watch how many people Jack Schaefer beats down the floor. He starts on a knee. He starts on a knee, finds an open guy, gets up from the knee, beats <laughs> one, two, three, four, five people he beats down the floor. <laughs> and then he's working on the and glass. And he's still trying to get the next offensive rebound. <laughs> like, like, I mean, that is relentless pursuit of the basketball. And you can't teach it. And, and it's just guys that just want to compete and want to win. Like I said, like, 
Their, their football team's winning again. Why? Because of attitudes and effort like that. Their basketball team's winning 12 straight. Why? Because of attitudes. Andre Austin said, this is why our football team's better, because this senior class. Yeah. They talked to Andre Austin. They said, hey, you want us to play basketball, right, don't you? You guys come out for football this year, then. We need to be better. And that's just an absolute culture of winning that you got to absolutely love if you're if you're a coach right now at Bismarck High. There's your move of the game brought to you by Jobbers Moving and Storage. Their efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management keeps everyone on the same page. And that location. wasn't slow motion, too. Jack Schaefer was running. <laughs> he wasn't, that wasn't full speed. That was a slow motion replay. <laughs> Locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. Find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. Well, if you want postseason basketball, folks, your home is the PSP Network. All 22 games of the upcoming WDA basketball tournament. You can find them live and direct on the PSP network. We start on Thursday, all eight opening round girls and boys contests. And then we follow it up with the semifinals, loser out games on March 1st. And then breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the event center on March 4th. You got all the qualifying games and the two championships right here on the PSP network. And not to mention, we got more stuff coming up yet this week as you've got Region 4 Division B girls on Thursday night, the third place in championship games. Boys districts up in Minot start on Friday, and then you got the A, B girls, and, or, uh, girls qualifiers from Minot Auditorium on Saturday. That'll be fun, that division or, uh, number two versus number, tr number three from Region 3 and Region 4 upcoming yet this week on the PSP Network. All right, Joe, last thing for us. It's our Sport Clips MVP of the contest tonight. They keep you looking your best. Check in online with a hairstylist today. Find them online at sportsclip, sportclips.com. It has eight points in the first half, but, man, the second half was really where Andre Austin yeah. put his stamp on this game. Yeah, I just thought he played a really good basketball game. And obviously he's their leading scorer. He's the guy they look to to answer. And you called him the answer a few times, right? He, when, when they need to break a run or they need something good to happen, they look to Andre Austin and ice him on the top of the key. And there's not many people that can stay in front of him. But he blocks shots. He rebounds. He guards on his end. He runs the floor. Um, he, he, he's, he's a relentless basketball player as well. And um, just a solid, solid kid. Seems like a solid kid, solid teammate too. Just... Uh, Became a fan tonight of him for sure. Not that I wasn't before, but yeah. just some maturity there. And I just, you know, coming from Gary, like I have a small town kid, right? If you're going to play, you got to play everything. And for him to even reference football, I mean, for him to even like talk about like this is what we do now. We're just going to, we're going to win. We're going to win together. And these seniors did that for us. And I just thought that was really cool. I mean, Let's be honest. Like, there's like three or four football players on there that don't have to play basketball, right? Yep. They don't have to come out, but they do because they love to compete. They love to win, and they obviously got something going on here that they that uh, the Bismarck High just can't replicate. A lot of de demons and double figures tonight, and that'll put a wrap on our broadcast. Congratulations to Andre Austin, the MVP of the contest tonight. Brought to you by Sport Clips. They keep you looking your best. MVP haircut experience. Sport Clips. Brings you our game MVP, that is Andre Austin. We do have to fix something. And Chuck, if he's still listening, he might have to um, send an apology text message. Miss Doctor just told me that Mr. Doctor, Luke Doctor, is signed at the University of Mary to play football. Oh, not e Moorhead. Even better. So we can, I thought I saw that. We, and can, I, you know, we can correct that. Yeah, so just so, just so everybody knows, we had it right the first time. We <laughs> had it right the first time. And, uh, and uh, I, I thought I saw that. So... Uh, Jeff Doctor is a great man. Me and him worked together a little bit when I was out of U Mary. I thought I saw that. So good for good for big Mr. Luke Luke uh, Luke Sh uh, Doctor getting to go play at the at the University of Mary and getting his family to watch him play on on a, on a Saturday basis. All right, that'll put a wrap on our broadcast tonight. Big thanks to all of our sponsors, including BNC National Bank for bringing our scoreboard, our pregame brought to you by Valvoline Instant Oil Change, timeout and replays brought to you by Ryan Family Dealership. Serve Pro brings you our free throws. Halftimes, as always, brought to you by Magic Towing, our post game. Planning Team Financial Advisor, Shots Crossroads, step up to bring you that each broadcast. And our Sport Clips MVP of the game tonight, the junior Andre Austin, and your move of the game, the big three hit by Ty Lutzen late. Excellent work by one and all tonight. Our production team, our camera operators, head noted and key noted by Anthony Vetter and Aaron Wald. Great job by them for my partner. Joe Cattell, Todd Armory is repeating your final scores tonight. On senior night, it's a demon sweep. Bismarck High exercises the demons in the girls game, 65-44 over century to break about a decade-long losing streak to the Patriots. And the boys close the deal in our nightcap, the Demon Boys winning 68-60 over century. 
Thanks for joining us, fans. And until tournament time, so long from Carlgard Gymnasium. brought to you by PSP Network. It's game day. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and planning team financial advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shaw's Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads.